day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Sunday. So don't just come. If you are sick here, don't don't just sit down wondering. Oh, can I be healed? No, I'm telling you. Even if we are teaching on relationship, the Holy Ghost responds to the hunger of His people. So every time you are coming, the Bible says, "For without faith, it is impossible to please God." He said, "For he that cometh unto God." You came here barren. We can be talking about something. And the Holy Ghost just walks up to you. And says you are too hungry for me to leave you the way you came. Hallelujah. So I'd like you to be conscious. Of the presence of healing angels. I'm not just talking about emotional healing. Real healings. And when you hear words like this. When they are declared. They activate the manifestation of the angelic. Because that's what God wants to do. The Bible says, let it be done in the earth as it is seen in the heavens. And so when you declare that which God wants to do in the earth, it permits the activities of angels. For the Bible says, are they not ministering spirits sent to minister to they that be the heirs of salvation? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You don't come here with burdens and be wondering, will God lift them? Are you joking? God is mighty. God is able. You get information. You get revelation. The Bible says rule in the midst of your enemies. Not in their absence. It takes light. I've shared it again and again. The Bible says and God made many lights. But there were two great lights. One light empowered men to rule in the day and another empowered men to rule in the night. And if that light enters you, you will rule both in the day and in the night. The Bible says they know not, neither do they understand. They grope in darkness and so the earth is out of course. Have I not said ye are gods? And all of you are children of the Most High. He said, but you shall die like men, men and fall like one of these princes. So don't just come for the service wandering around being distracted. Let your spirit be focused because the Holy Ghost is everywhere to bless. In one night, the Lord can turn your story. In one night, you may be in the crowd there, but an anointing, see, let me tell you, he said, I have found my servant David. He didn't tell us where he found him. I have found my servant. Many years ago, when I go for meetings like this, lost in the crowd, the preacher will just be talking as I'm talking now. And many people were just joking, but I believed. I said, Lord, I'm that person that preacher is talking about. Today, you see the fulfillment of the word. Some of you will hear and just be laughing. Take seriously every time. God is not doing the same thing. I tell you, there is enough grace and power. And if you catch this grace, you will run with the spirit of Elijah. See, there is an anointing. There is a revelation that can cause a man to arise to a place of grace. I pray that God will help you see my heart as I preach. There is, you can catch a fire 
you can catch knowledge you can catch insight it's of the holy ghost it's not of men it's an auction it flows from the depth of fountain your spirit is deeper than your body looks i tell you if you allow the life of god to touch that fountain no matter who you are no matter how weak you are he said weak men came to david to the cave of adulam they came to the cave he produced warriors out of them one of them became powerful he killed mighty men that the sword cleaved to his hands it's by the power of the holy ghost everything you see in this place is an unction he said it's not about trial and error he said you have an unction from the holy one peter said such as i have a man can know he has something such if you don't have it you don't have it there is no guesswork this is not mental manipulation this is walking under an open heavens there is a dimension of walk with the spirit that you can have and this is what we seek for your spirit to contact i, I pray that God will open my heart for you to understand how that I desire that these secret things that belong to God be communicated unto you I tell you, you will break barriers you will shatter limits you will walk like a God upon the earth he said, have I not said ye are God I challenge your spirit tonight there's more God can do with you this is not the best there's more he can do if you will give him your attention if you will take serious you don't need to be great he can take you as you are you don't need to be inside you may be outside he can take hold of your life forget about the little you know or you don't know just open your heart say lord i don't know and i humble myself change me and the power of the holy ghost will pick you in a flight in the spirit and when he's done with you you will be nothing short of a wonder that's what he did with our lives lord let none of our services ever be ordinary Hallelujah. See, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. If I had the opportunity to hear what many of you are hearing many years in my life, I promise you, I would have been 10 times greater than I am today. The Bible says they had the word just like we did. If you don't receive the word and pay attention, you will pay for it tomorrow. Every day it gets harder. The Bible says in the days of Samuel, when the word of God was cast, it will not always be at a platter of gold. A day will come, you will have to trade a lot of things for it. Get it now. He said, "Doth not wisdom cry, crying in the city for as many who will desire her. He said, get wisdom, get understanding exalt her and she will promote you a crown of glory an ornament of glory she will bring upon thy head when thou dost embrace her he said wisdom is the principal thing dear forget wisdom said the labor of the fool weary at him not because there is no way he does not know the way to the city God bless you. Please be seated. Let's save time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ephesians 2. We have to run. I want us to finish early today. Thank you, Jesus. Never take for granted 
what you are receiving. Many of you get so familiar. But I commend as many of you who come every week with a hunger. Because you know that God is doing something in your life. One of the mysteries that will never stop amazing me is how God can turn an ordinary man into a sign and a wonder. Listen, brothers and sisters, if it were by qualification, some of us would not be in ministry. Hallelujah. But God knows how to take the foolish things and the basest of all things. That's what he's doing with your life. Hallelujah. If you, if you don't study what God is doing in your life, you will not even notice you are growing. Hallelujah. And for many of you, you will get to a point in your life where you will not have the luxury to sit down like this again. The Bible says the angel tapped Elijah. He said, eat for the journey is far. He ate and he slept again. The angel tapped him. He said, you don't know how far you are going. Eat. And the Bible says when he ate, he went in the strength of that bread, 40 days journey. In other words, there are some of you that what you are receiving now in your spirit, you will get to positions where people cannot access you easily. You will get so busy serving the nation or doing that which God has called you to do. You will not have any time. But in your secret heart, some of you, the Holy Ghost will replace some of these messages. You will hear it again. When you want to treat people in a wrong way, God will say, remember. The kingdom series will begin to ring in your mind. Many of you may not notice what the Holy Ghost is doing. But let me tell you something, friends. Paul speaking to his son Timothy in the gospel, he said, meditate on these things. He said, give yourself wholly to them eventually your profiting will appear unto all hallelujah when you sow a seed and you pour water sometimes it will take a while you may not know that something is happening one day you will wake up in the morning and suddenly you will see a sign that there is growth a few years after you will look at that same tree and many will come to find shelter this is the mystery of the spiritual man that you start small small in the kingdom at any level you can be received you can start small let there be a determination in your heart that every time i come for koinonia listen if you stop getting blessed stop coming don't waste your time I'm telling you, you won't go to hell. But you do something else with your time. Hallelujah. We are very serious about what God has given us. That's why we don't have time for unnecessary jokes. We get to the business of the day. Because we know that there are certain destinies if God does not step in, Satan will make a shipwreck of them. There are many of you who are coming here with situations that are a matter of life and death. We cannot be joking. hallelujah I want us to hurry up I promised us that we will try to maintain the time koinonia is not the kind of meeting that you can do in two or three hours hallelujah I wish we had an auditorium of our own old meetings is a, is a lot it's, see these are spiritual syllables we are covering are you following me now and sometimes when I see that which God wants to bring we are lagging behind. We meet only once in a week. Take advantage of it. Hallelujah. Even if we met three or four times in a week, it will not be enough. I'm telling you. If you know the urgency of what God wants to make out of your life, you will make the... He said, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Thank you, Jesus. Once again, Lord, there is only one Lord in this place. It's not Joshua Selman. It's not any minister but the king of kings we only live to serve your majesty let every pride be nailed to the cross let every tendency for vain glory be nailed to the cross we are not ashamed to declare that we are your servants tonight lord i pray that you move through me and bless your people our hearts are opened in the name of jesus 
break every pride break every flesh break every tendency of the human spirit and soul to interrupt that which you want to do let your people be blessed in the name of jesus ephesians 2 10 tonight i want you to listen very carefully there are not many messages i tell people to listen to but tonight's message will bless you i'm sharing tonight on the price for a glorious destiny the price for a glorious destiny i know that we have one more one more session to cover for the full gospel series but we'll take that another time be conscious of the presence of god as we minister ephesians 2 verse 10 quickly anybody thank you jesus have you wondered why please look up have you wondered why in life certain people emerge so victorious glorious with enviable destinies hallelujah while others live as failures in life hallelujah I've always wondered, is it that God made some people failures? Is it that some people were destined to be failures? Hallelujah. While the world is celebrating the investments of God in others, other people just, they are at the lower levels of life. They make no impact. They don't live out why they were born. Tonight, I pray that this message will challenge you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The price for a glorious destiny. Write this down. The word destiny. Write destiny. Please make sure next time when you're coming, you hold something to write with. If, you, if your neighbor is not writing, you can help them, please. The paper, biro, just share with someone. Or if you have a phone, you can use your notepad or something. Or if you can just have it, no problem. You can get the teaching later. Destiny. Now, the word destiny is an interesting word. It means a predetermined future. Very simply. The word destiny means a future that has been predetermined. Hallelujah. A future that has been predetermined. Ephesians 2 verse 10. Anyone? Yes, please. Very loud. For we are his workmanship. For we are his workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. Created in Christ Jesus. Unto good works. Unto good works. Which God had before ordained. Which God had before ordained. That we should walk that in them. That we should walk in them. Thank you, sir. He said, For we are what? His workmanship. We are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus that we should walk unto good works to walk in a path that has been foreordained he told Jeremiah in chapter 1 he said right from when you were in your mother's womb I knew you, formed you, called you ordained you to be a prophet unto the nations Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says for I have the thoughts that I think towards you said the Lord he said they are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you to what an expected end that means I had an expectation hallelujah are you listening to me so the word destiny this is so important the word destiny means a predetermined future predetermined by who God God the Bible says we existed in God in eternity. Hallelujah. This is very, very important. Many people do not live to hear these kinds of teachings. And they become failures in life. They are being born again notwithstanding. I'd like you to say after me, I have a destiny. Say it. Say I have a destiny. Say it confidently. I have a destiny. Say I was born for a reason. Let's see some facts about destiny quickly. Number one, facts about destiny. Every man was born for a reason. 
every man this is the first point I want you to know tonight every man those who serve the great and the great every man according to God's predeterminate counsel every man was born for a reason I don't care how you came whether it was as a result of one harlot meeting another man is irrelevant hallelujah one more time say I have a destiny what you are saying is I have a predetermined future say I'm not a biological accident I know many of you are used to just say it we are going on a journey tonight every man was born for a reason your purpose for existence is the problem you were created to solve the solution that God put in you to reveal to your world your purpose in life what problem were you created to solve what solution look around the world we are benefiting from solutions that have been provided to mankind men and women walked upon the earth in ministry in every area of life and they offered solutions to their generations your general you from are you getting blessed tonight so number one every man was born for a reason debunk that demonic statement that you do not have a destiny i don't care what has happened to you i don't care what satan has told you can i tell you something even the herbalist and the native doctors and those who sell their soul to the devil have a destiny and a purpose in christ hallelujah fact number two your destiny has been predetermined by god your destiny is not an ambition your destiny is not an ambition an ambition is a desire a craving of something or someone you want to become that's not destiny your destiny has been predetermined listen to me but it takes your choices and decisions to enter into it or lose it your destiny has been predetermined by God but it is a sum total of your choices in life and the decisions that you take he said i set before thee this day blessing and cursing life and death but here's my advice he said what choose life choose life so that you may live fact number three destiny can be aborted this is the painful thing about destiny destiny can be aborted in other words god can earmark someone's life and the man comes here on earth spends 70 years 80 years even a hundred years or more and not locate his destiny at all not even leave it may god forbid that any one of us will just walk through the earth and be a liability to this generation hallelujah destiny is an important thing listen let me tell you something when you find your place in destiny that's where your blessing is that's where your relevant is there is no competition it's a realm that only you exist you see the reason why many people fight tear themselves do everything they do not even know that they have a predetermined future and if they do they don't even know how to get there and tonight my job is to guide us into not just an understanding but an experiential walking the price i made up my mind long time ago that my generation will hear my voice when i said that you were not there when i said that nobody was there but today by the grace of god hallelujah when you hear certain names billy graham dr miles munro mike mudok bishop oyedeko obama hallelujah when you hear certain names they are associated with greatness these were men who who grew in all kinds of unfavorable conditions hallelujah men and women who shook their generations 
read through the Bible run from Genesis to Revelation Moses Abraham, Isaac Jacob, Joshua the prophets, Jesus himself Paul the apostle every time you hear this name you tag an aspect of greatness I pray that tomorrow your name will be associated to greatness the Bible says we have been preordained by God please listen so why why do people end up becoming failures in life I asked the Lord this question and I was shocked he gave me only two reasons why do people end up becoming failures in life someone who was destined to be a great apostle a great prophet a great teacher a great evangelist how come a man can have such a beautiful predetermined destiny and not even leave it do you realize that there was a prophetic grace upon jacob he never used it he never worked with it it was until he was at the point of death he began to bless his children and you hear the prophecy that came out of him this was this was a grace and an unction that he would have used in his youth hmm. hallelujah have you not heard of people who at age 80 or 70 they finally give their heart to the Lord and within the remaining time they begin to put pressure on destiny listen let me tell you something brothers and sisters write this scripture down and never forget it for the rest of your life Lamentations 3 27 he said it is good that a man bear his yoke in his youth it is good that a man bear his yoke in other words the Bible says the glory of the young man is his strength. Pay the price now. Don't pay the price when you do not have strength again. Why people, including Christians, end up becoming failures in life? Number one, I want you to listen with an open heart. Number one, excuses. Please write it quickly and look up because I want to talk about it. Excuses. This is the number one reason why many people become failures in life. And I don't want you to be victims of that. Excuses. We live in a world where many people, many people believe that their success depends on others and not themselves. Hallelujah. There are many angry people around the world in Africa, in Nigeria, giving all kinds of ridiculous excuses. Why God cannot use them? Excuses why they are drinking and smoking. Excuses why their lives are the way they are. Excuses. Not taking responsibility for their lives. Let me show you an interesting scripture. Proverbs 20 verse 4. Proverbs 20 verse 4. Let's hurry up. I want, this, I want this word to enter your spirit tonight. Proverbs 20 verse 4. Anyone? Yes sir. 20 verse 4. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. He said the sluggard will not plow the land. Why? What is his excuse? He said there is cold. Therefore shall he beg in harvest. Therefore shall he beg in harvest. And have nothing. And have nothing. This is talking about um, fruitfulness, but this applies to every area of life. He said the sluggard will refuse to plow the land. What is his excuse? Help me please. There is cold. There are so many people who have given useless excuses. Why they are the way they are. And in Nigeria, we have so many of these people. A lot of youths are angry with the government. And say in America, once you are 18, they give you money. And now they are saying, if they were helping me, my life would have changed. And because of that, you move on being a failure in life. And when they ask you why, this is your excuse. Are you listening to me? There are many people that have given all kinds of excuses. My father is an irresponsible man. If my father was as responsible as other people, do you think I'll be where I am? now that you know what are you doing about it hallelujah i used to live a bad life sleeping around 
now that you know what are you doing about it are you following me now there are so many people it's easy to pass the blame of your life to other people there are many of us still holding our parents fathers mothers and different people my father cursed me that's why i'm not moving oh you are aware have you taken any step what are you doing about it are you listening to me please I came from a polygamous family they didn't treat me well it's not a lie but what are you doing about it are you going to allow your destiny to be at the mercy of all kinds of excuses Jesus came from Nazareth hallelujah an innocent child suddenly Herod finds him to kill him he would have gotten angry and said father please take me back look at this nonsense I'm coming to help people who are sinners and you are not even encouraging my journey you want to kill me it's amazing ask many people why they are not advancing in life they will start crying and they will start telling you stories of yesteryears there was a guy when I was four years old the guy abused me and that's the reason why every time I see men or women I, I have an, an uncontrolled desire my brother and my sister how many years or decades has that been what are you doing about it are you listening to me someone insulted me and told me i'll never be anything so every time people talk to me and now we have all kinds of psychological teachings that encourage us to live in that realm they say you see mankind is a, our complexity as men there are certain subconscious things that remain and when it comes you are hurt you are emotionally hurt your heart is down look get up and move on with your destiny you know some of us get into situations and we give excuses wait until you hear the story of someone and the things they survive to come out you will see that you have no excuse for solomon told us that there is nothing that has happened in the earth that is happening for the first time are you listening to me say i refuse to give excuses oh I, my father took me to a school where we sat down on stones that's why my jam result i've been suffering now you can imagine this wicked man you would drink this thing we sat on stones they used chalk my brother and my sister now that you are responsible for your destiny what have you done by yourself hallelujah when kofi annan was the secretary general of the united nations he made a statement on children's day he said let the children not suffer the consequences of the carelessness of their parents hallelujah when i heard that statement i appreciated it on one side but on another side it didn't make sense to me because it is true that you cannot change other people so the only way to move forward is to change yourself are you listening to me excuses several people give excuses oh my father was this see let me tell you something i'm not saying your excuses are not legitimate they are but for as long as you allow satan to keep bringing that as a reason you will remain there forever there are people in this place who lost their loved ones lost their fathers their mothers when they were growing up there are several people who were under some hostile environments there are several of you who were involved in witchcraft and divination it's not your fault you grew up into it hallelujah my father's mother was a traditional worshiper am i if if i add what i'm doing now with small tradition the day they catch me i say uh -huh, why wouldn't i do it you know, you watch people and see the excuses they give on TV. They catch a senator looting money and then he brings a flimsy and stupid excuse. He says, am I the only one? They should go and ask, what happened to our foreign reserve? What has that got to do with what you did now? Every time, every time you are convicted, the, the thing for people is to look for excuses. You pour water here and ask people, who did this? What will people say? It's not me but what is he not affecting all of us say it's not me that mindset is what i want to remove this night hallelujah for let me tell you something brothers and sisters the great in life are men who have come out of unbelievable excuses 
are you listening to me all kinds of excuses there have been I've, i i read a lot about successful people because the bible says that he who dwells among the wise will be wise ministers people in government politics the corporate world i study about their lives and i'm telling you you cannot imagine what some of them had to endure a man called william seymour the pioneer of the azusa street revival hallelujah the bible tells sorry not the bible history tells us that the founder the one who brought in the azusa street revival, he had one eye one eye hallelujah there are many of us who right now you are you are there is annoyance and grief in your spirit with the government of nigeria with your families say my brother is because they were sponsoring him to school that's why i didn't go to school okay now you didn't go to school and then your brother maybe ended up becoming an arm robber and forever every time you see him say this is the demon that swallowed up my destiny people give all kinds of excuses the bible says go to the ants you sluggard and learn a very powerful lesson they take about 50 times their weight they have never given excuse and say god why didn't you increase our size seeing that we are this hard working they are able to coordinate themselves listen brothers and sisters if you do not stop giving excuses in your life i promise you you will live a life of bitterness and regret you will initiate your children you watch some people in the television and see how your parents frown at them say ah mr h then they just he said ah daddy what happened say this guy i remember how many years the guy has gone for they are interviewing him in, on tv the guy is happy your father is here you are saying okay so how about our own life say, are you not hearing what i'm saying no you just add you just pass the anger to people there are people who are perpetually angry you ask them why why should i be happy are you not seeing what is going on in the world can you imagine obama he doesn't know you you are dying there good luck Jonathan God punish him he didn't hear it listen I'm telling you something get out of this thing the visit of Abu stupid man he doesn't know you you are not living in his house you see the house he's living in you are there angry oh this is my stupid lecturer God will punish him yet the semester just started you are going to see him as many times and you can't drive him away listen let me tell you something if you don't stop keep, while you are laughing i hope you are getting this this is a very serious issue hallelujah excuses the bible do you know the bible says he gave unto men matthew 25 five talent two talent and what one what was the excuse of the last one he said i know you are a hard man so that was his observation all through that period while his other colleagues were making use of destiny he was there saying i know you are a hard man you like reaping where you did so There are many of us who are here with our destiny. See, I cannot speak English. If God only made me finer than I am now, God, you said you didn't try. Eh? What is the meaning of all this nonsense? Oh God, if I had done this, if only I could speak like that guy. If only I could write. God, if you just if you had given me this guy's charisma, what the books I would have written by now. You think the people were born like that? see what you do not know is that every successful man started somewhere we are used to studying people's results not their history hallelujah so you see a man drops outside with a jeep lincoln and say hey, sand youths moving for the advocacy of employment in what is that and they gather themselves they fight over secretary they fight over something and they write a petition they say we want to see the presidency and you want to they get there and say sir on behalf of the youth in nigeria we are speaking why are there no jobs Clicker ways of living. you are just hoping that one day your father will just call you and say now son i've waited all these years to tell you that there's one secret inheritance that i've kept 
because you watched it in the Nigerian film. Now your father is getting older. You didn't hear anything. You didn't hear anything. Later, your father will call you and say, Oh boy, do and get out of my household. Then it dawns on you that there's really nothing for you. Then you start getting bitter. The Bible says children are, are supposed to enjoy inheritance from the parents. Now that it didn't happen, what are you doing about it? You are there grumbling, writing books and articles, petitioning your parents. See, let me tell you something. I want you to make a determination tonight that you're going to take hold of your destiny. Are you listening to me? You can't cry forever. You've got to brace up, wipe your tears and move. Yes, the man slept with you when you were growing up. Yes, all kinds of things happened. Your uncle abused you. Yes, this and that happened. Yes, somebody broke your heart. Yes, somebody did this. Yes, the brother came into your life and swore heaven and hell and told you Greek and Hebrew and Aramaic and left you. Yes, this and that happened. But what are you going to do today? Are you listening to me? Many people give excuses. Oh, it's cold. So you won't plow the land. You just ask people why they are. I have not sample 12 people ask them why they are in this level of life only about one in those 12 will take responsibility and, to take any. and most of the people who will make that decision are usually bad drunkards and the rest you go and ask drunkards and smokers they'll open up they'll tell you truly oh, I'm responsible for where I am now but go and ask Christians didn't I pray that day even my seed I gave like I'm, I'm watching God the day will come when I would you can imagine I brought someone to Koinonia. Now see the person growing. Doors are opening. God, let me tell you, if you are not going to do this, I will backslide. I will do this and that. And they ask you, they say, okay, why are you not consistent with God now? You say, when, when he doesn't solve my problem, won't I go? Who is suffering? Tonight is the night when you open up yourself and say, listen, I don't care from where I'm starting. But I will not end there. Are you listening to me? Say in the name of Jesus. I will not end where I am. Say it like you believe it. Inside and outside. In the name of Jesus. I will not end where I am. There's more about my life. I'm telling you. Believe it. You wait and hear the stories of all kinds of people. And the things that they went through people who trusted God at dead beds others even died and came back to life and made up their minds hallelujah there are people today look at the man Job if there's anybody who should be discouraged about destiny it should be a man Job he got to a point in one day your children dead cattle dead everything dead and then boils grow on your body again to the point that dogs come and they are licking it imagine your father sitting naked using ashes the bible said he sat upon ashes this was somebody who was talked about yet job said though he slay me yet will i praise him the wife said job i love you we had all these children with you and right now i must tell you that i'm tired job said why are you speaking like one of these foolish women the Bible says at the end of his life he refused excuses can I tell you something great people are those who do what weak people refuse to do they, they break through all kinds of things excuses oh we come from this tribe our tribe yeah, we are always known for this there are all kinds of people giving useless excuses the people from our tribe Zev, they know us in our tribe as dollars Jale lord do everyone if they you just call our tribe what are you going to do about it with all the word you are hearing we like women in our village it's a cause oh, everybody has it who doesn't have it please now that the word is entering your spirit is it doing anything us in our place so it's women that work the job of the man is to go and get children and allow everybody what are you doing about it When they went with the prophet, the Bible says the axe head fell inside the ground. They would have said, Toh, 
prophet at least you saw what we were doing before the accident they said no prophet come many of you I'm telling you this God asked me to preach this message there are many of you that need to release your parents especially your father left you to your mother alone yes you struggled your father is enjoying in maybe UK or abroad or anywhere and you are here suffering what are you going to do about it do you know you sit down there before you know it you will look around and see four children and you are sitting in the parlor with them narrating the same story that you didn't do anything about the children said daddy what what really why are we like this and you say sit down since you have asked i will tell you what what kind of life is that some of you may be laughing now you see some of you may be laughing now but you don't do anything about it and you see you'll be shocked in your life because it won't change automatically I made up my mind years ago that I was going to take responsibility for my life hallelujah many of you have had to miss semesters for students sessions maybe because one uncle who was supposed to be responsible said he will sleep with you he no sleeping with you no school fees and forever you sit down and say this uncle oh God miracle service you write his his name say god punish this man for me let his children know and we have all kinds of ridiculous woes is it do you realize that one man's failure or success does not affect your own praise the lord there are all kinds of people angry in society giving excuses go and meet our parents and they give all kinds of excuses it's true there's corruption they say forget jerry if i were yoruba they would have promoted me now or if i were Igbo, they would have all this Igbo thing or all this northern thing but have you made efforts you call the person who is making noise and try to interview him and see that this guy cannot even do anything instead of him to people are building he's not doing anything saying this contract yeah yoruba people that's how they do or outside people not done and with their stupidity he's always like that and the person who is shot the day they give him that contract you wait and see how he will change he won't do it he will cause trouble are you ready for it no say i refuse excuses number two in fact say after me my success depends on me i take my destiny and I pay the price. I pay the price. I release everyone. Say it. I release everyone. And I take responsibility. Hallelujah. Number two. One of the reasons why people end up becoming failures in life. Please never forget this for as long as you live. Number two. Violating the law of process violating the law of process you just write it i'll explain it look at one scripture quickly mark 4 28 someone help us read we have to hurry up mark 4 28 are you receiving something tonight is god speaking to someone there are some of you your brothers are 35 years 40 years they are still at home true or false you ask them why they will see your father they will hit themselves the day your father talked they will say see let me tell you something when i was 26 years remember this now you are 40. you marry and still carry the wife to your father's house and say is this house will stay the day you give me land i'll pack out can you imagine the, you wait and see how do you know most of family fighting is on inheritance is that true the father left land and they'll say this land Abba, will kill ourselves on this land you will see three generations fighting over the land that their great grandfather who was a king gave them they don't do anything mark 4 28 please read sir Shall I come for the earth bringeth forth fruit of, it, of herself for the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself listen first the blade first what happens the blade alright then the ear then the ear 
After that, the, the full corn. After that, the full corn. Stop. God bless you. It says the earth brings, but it tells you how we bring. It says first what? The blade. Followed by the air. And then a lot of people have become failures. Please listen. Give me your ears, your heart, your eyes, everything. A lot of people have become failures in life because they do not know the law of process. This is a message that is not taught again because we are in a jet age. A generation where anything is possible. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Luke 2 verse 52, it says and Jesus grew. Say after me and Jesus grew. The Bible didn't say Jesus became. And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God. Jesus grew. The Lord grew. The Bible says as far as the earth remains, seed, hold on, time, and harvest. Many of us read it in a rush. There are three words there. One is seed. Second is time. Third, harvest. It didn't just say seed, harvest. Seed, time, harvest. The law of a process. Many people, let me tell you something. This is what separates the great ones from those who are not great. If I say now, God will make you a great leader. Everybody will lift hands. Amen. Hallelujah. I prophesy to you. Or Jangfa gets up here and says, the Lord is showing me, my brother, that in five years, you are going to become a world changer. Guys, start smiling. I say, I like koinonia. I like this kind of thing. These are the kind of things I would like to hear. But now, when God says, let me tell you, you know the thing about God? He doesn't tell you how you will get there. He will first show you a picture of the promised land and say, let's go. Later, you will stop and say, oh, God, God said, didn't I show you? Let's go. Hallelujah. I don't watch films most of the time. But the Lord made me to watch one film called Lord of the Rings. Many of you watch film for entertainment. I got some powerful spiritual lessons about that film. Hallelujah. I learned a lot of things. Another film I watched called Aquila and the Bee. Did you learn anything? You are saying yes. <laughs> you just keep quiet and let me preach to you because many of you have watched it more than 10 times you can say everything but you can't bring the moral lesson hallelujah someone who grew with no advantage whatsoever and became a world changer what is your excuse listen let me tell you everyone I know whether in the ministry in business, in politics, in government, in the arts, media, whatever it is, whatever area, anyone who truly stepped into sustainable greatness went through a process. Are you listening to me? Anyone that preaches to you, now we have all kinds of messages, spiritual shortcut. There's a pathway you can navigate in a hurry. Let me tell you, that pathway is witchcraft. Yes, it's witchcraft, I will say it. Because if you follow that path, let me tell you something with Satan. He will give you the products now and come for his money later on. Oh, he's a good businessman. He will tell you, you have it. And then you join the Americans. What America is doing is, is a, a physical manifestation of what Satan does to people in the spirit. You buy your destiny on credit and leave everything. So if you were in America now, many of you would have come for Koinonia with jeeps. Once you are 18 years, they give you money. You build house on credit. Marry a wife on credit. Divorce her on credit. Build a business on credit. And you hold on. And begin to see the kind of thing you are living for your children. I like Nigeria. Thank God. There's nothing like credit system in Nigeria. If you don't have it, just go back home. It's a very good system. Are you listening to me? Are you getting blessed tonight? Say, I receive gifts to go through the process. Many young people don't like this statement. Process. Once you mention process, ah, people don't like it. Hallelujah. 
every time you watch jollof rice when they finish it and package it and bring it you start smiling every time we're about to eat the food that our welfare people prepared for us sometimes i look and i just imagine how did they do this how did they do all of that how the processes you can't just lay hands on the rice and say i invoke <laughs> by an ability of the spirit hey, let this thing become rice it doesn't work that way hallelujah because that's what many people are doing some of you are doing it as you are laughing it may not be for rice but you are doing it for your destiny you are sitting down and hoping that's why many of you like teachings on favor you are hoping Ayah, i will enter houses i didn't build i will marry wife i didn't ask out i will have children i didn't get out of that illusion this night in the mighty name of jesus christ There are brothers waiting for the sister to just manifest and see them. There are sisters hoping that one day they wake up and say, Ah, you are the one. You hold on and watch the shocker that life brings. We like it when a generation of employment without submitting CV, everything. So we like it. The jet age that leads people into stupidity. There is something called the law of process. Let me tell you two things you need to know about the law of process. Number one, in the school of greatness you must be tested and proven to be honored by god if it is god if it's your shrine or another um, demonic entity is okay but if it is god let me tell you something you must be tried and tested psalm 66 verse 12 he said thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads we walk through fire and through water but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place men rode through our heads we went through fire through water are you listening to me behind every glory there is a story many of you are not interested in the story you just keep admiring things that will never come into your life. And many of us have gone to churches where you claim. You come and drop your seed and don't do anything and watch how your life will surprise you. Hallelujah. The favor of God will never replace the law of process. Are you listening to me? So don't you think that if you can get the favor anointing, everything in your life will just happen like that. I hope you know Jesus Christ had the power to save mankind without dying. You know that in the infinite wisdom of God there would have been a way. Why did Mary just give birth to Jesus? You just hear a child just cry, ah! Then you see a great man say, I'm in a hurry. I need to save mankind. <laughs> you give birth to a child like that and see how you will run. You just gave birth to him, he landed and just got up. Say, what's going on here? What's my destiny? What's my assignment? It doesn't happen that way. It can't happen that way. If a baby drinks one drum of breast milk, does he become a man? Answer me. You call him a healthy baby. That's what happens. If an old man fasts for 100 years and dies, did you say a baby died? Who died? An old man. The law of process has cheated many people, violating this law. Running into realms that you have not gotten into. It takes time for true success to manifest. Write it. It takes time. So you don't let anybody deceive you. Someone just gets his small 500 or six or 700,000 just buys his golf wagon and won't let you rest comes to see the world is working in my life and you are taking things gradually but you are beginning to faint and say kai pressure is even coming from home and people are saying see now my brother just said he's a bad doctor and you know we live in a society that puts pressure on us you hold on and start hearing the calls that come from everywhere 
So we are waiting. No, start sending the money. And now you are under all kinds of pressure left, right and center. It takes time for true success to manifest. Let me tell you what a process teaches you. A process simply means the pathway to your destination or whatever you want to achieve. Number one, a process tests your loyalty and commitment to fulfilling your destiny. Listen, listen, look at me. A process will test whether you are really interested in fulfilling destiny or not. Oh God, use me. Hallelujah. And somebody just, somebody just said, uh, sorry, I'm hungry. And God tells you the 500 naira in your pocket, that's all you have home and abroad. God will say, give the person. Say, God, the Bible says, you are telling God, oh, the Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself, not better than yourself. And you are looking at God. And then you say, you want to be a minister. Oh God, give me crowd like Koinonia. You hold on. When you go through the process, at the end of it, you will know whether you want it or not. Process tests your loyalty. Let me tell you something. If you survive a process, you deserve the result. Are you listening to me? Many people don't survive it. I was listening to an interview by Ubad Angel. Many people say you are an exceptional prophet. You are a celebrity. He said, I'm, se I'm persecuted. How can I be the celebrated? You go online and see all kinds of things about him. But many people will see and say, I want that level of grace. See, uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. Don't, don't allow success bait you too quick. Let the process of God screen your true desire. Success tests loyalty. Hallelujah. How many of you want to be evangelists? Everybody get up. When Jake comes, because many of you think it's just anointing and you fall down. Jake says, all right, um, every week we are going to be going on evangelism. They will start with 100 people who came out emotional, even crying, cleaning their tears. After two weeks, you may find only 10 people. Why? Because you have initiated the principle of a process. A process is what separates great people from those. It's easy to talk, but it's a process that separates people. I want to be a champion. I am somebody. And you just dance. I am somebody. If it were just to be like that, there are people who varieties of oil has come upon their head. It would have changed their life by now. Process. Process. So process helps you. It tests your loyalty. Anything you are not loyal and committed to, you will never get it at the end. Number two, process builds patience. Impatience has cheated many people in life. Listen to me. There's no anointing, impartation, hand laying for patience. You are taught patience experientially. The Bible says in James 1 verse 3, it says, count it all joy, my brethren, when you go through several diverse um, temptations. He said, knowing this, that the trying of your faith will produce patience. He said, and let patience have her full course, that it will make you mature, not lacking in anything. Patience. How many of you have come to meet your father or some of your parents? And while you are jumping and excited about some things, they promise me visa to UK. You just see your father not interested. He said, Why well, uncle promise? And your father is just looking as if he didn't hear you. You have never gone through disappointment in your young and youthful life. He received disappointment in 1971. Somebody promised him he was going to Scotland. He didn't go. It happened again in 1970. He has gone through too much things. It has helped him to be patient. You are coming happy. Oh, and they prophesied this thing. No, he's just looking at you. Two weeks later, you come back and say, God, this is my uncle. You have told your friends. He told you, just keep quiet. Because you, you are too grateful to keep quiet. You ran around town. Ran your mouth around. There are some things only age can teach. When you see your father keep quiet, he said, they promoted me. But you just wait. Let him manifest. Say, what is that? Don't hide good things. 
after you receive disappointments for a number of times, you become grounded, initiated into patience experientially. Hallelujah. Your car was not good. They say, let's fix it. They say, no, let's go. Are you joking? The world is working. They say, let's fix this thing. It can cause trouble on the road. They say, ah. Daniel said this, this in the Bible. This, this said this. Then you are going. You stop and sleep on the road that night. You call on to the God of Israel. You pray and sing. Listen to koinonia tapes. Nothing happens. The next day, when you see a zealous apostle saying, let's go. You see, is the car working? If it's not working, say, hold on. It's not lack of faith. You, are you say, I can wait. I'm not in a hurry. I, if I cannot make the first two days of the program, I can make the third day. I'm not in a hurry. That spirit of, I believe in speed. We prophesy every miracle service. But there is a hurry. Hurry that leads you to death. Are you listening to me? Run away from it. You sit down. You know the background you are coming from. You look at your friend and say, hey, this girl is wearing Brazilian weave on me i'm here soaking my own and washing and rinsing it every time who said you will remain like that who said you remain like that and you are under all kinds of pressure impatience has produced arm robbers impatience has produced let me tell you most people that violate the laws of life are people who could not be patient men i, I shared it here men of god who have touched a lot of things adding to the anointing they have mixed the anointing with wine it's not that god didn't call them they said kai to wait five years we were on campus for four years meeting at the back of sunday school building every night we were being proven by god I cannot tell you the suggestions that came from different people. Do this, do that. God showed me this. Some even drew the diagram of what they saw and brought it. I said, thank God. But when it was God's grace, what happened? He brought us to this level. And we will stay on course until it pleases his majesty to open greater doors. If you learn to be patient in life, you will find out that your patience will make you faster than those who are running. Watch a driver who is running and saying, driver, we are young people in this car. Let's go 180. The driver said, I've been driving for the past 10 years. I've had accidents 10 times. I'm not in a hurry. We'll get to Zaria. You are just running. One car just passes you. Later on, you see people picking out the legs here, the head of the person here, and you now say, oh dear God, this would have been us. Patience. God can wait. God can wait. God is not in a hurry the way many people teach. God can wait. Let's hurry up. Number three. A process helps you to appreciate success and to honor successful people. If you have not gone through a process, you will never know how to appreciate success. Many of you take certain things that God brings to your life for granted until you go through certain processes. When you come out, can I tell you something? As I grow in ministry every day, I cultivate a deep respect for the fathers of faith who have gone ahead. Seeing some of the challenges that come before us in ministry and other things, when you see certain fathers, you just wonder, what did these people endure? You hear about some of them who had churches and God asked them to leave and go to Lagos and they slept on that bridge for months before they got their parishes. And so you just think, see, I learned this from Dr. Mike Modok. Celebrate greatness when you enter its presence. Don't pretend there is no greatness there. Are you listening to me? When you enter, it, I shared it in, in when we're doing the teaching on the law of honor. Whenever you see greatness, don't pretend this is not greatness. Celebrate greatness when you enter its presence. Because the great are those who have endured what you could not endure. They went through things where you gave up, they continued. The film Lord of the Rings again. Among the many scenes in that film, there was one scene that I will never forget. Remember when a gentleman called Sam? He wasn't the one holding the ring. Are you listening to me? But Frodo, the ring bearer, got tired and he said something. He said, I may not be able to carry the ring, but I can carry you. And he carried that gentleman and started moving him and together they accomplished destiny listen to me let me tell you something 
successful people are those who did not give up when you gave up so celebrate greatness when you enter its presence it may be your brother it may be your sister success helps you sometimes you see people standing in anointing because you got born again and every prayer you prayed was answered you now say those who are fasting I beg Jerry. then you go through some process there are some people that if I see them doing some things I just keep quiet because we saw it happen on campus there are people who were very stubborn and they were not well behaved before but now when they see you they greet you ah every time I look at them I say you have come you have crossed that door you just see them they see you and they greet you they say sorry is there anything you think God is saying about my life they won't say that before when they see you before they'll come and push how are we colleagues in ministry when certain things went through and whip them back to order when they see you now they greet how many of you have seen people like that they used to be so rude and hostile to you we are roommates so we are just you forget you may be my senior in secondary school but we are roommates now don't play with me then the day they need your help the day they make a stupid decision they will now know they are childish and they will come and you bring forth wisdom a process helps you to appreciate success some of you inherited the success you have now so you are taking it for granted you grew up with a plasma screen in your house so when somebody is giving testimony and saying we use how many of you know this kind of CD plates that are round you just hold it and touch it lightly then it starts going round that's how some people grew up but you grew up with everything some you even have gadgets that you just speak to it from your room we grew up and my parents my younger sister is here we had one beetle green beetle i learned how to drive with that beetle no alignment no nothing you are driving is going you have to bring it back but many of you grew up it was a jeep that carried you from the hospital and brought you you just grew up one day you saw yourself you saw people snapping and say daddy who is our father they say he's a commissioner or is this so you don't know how to appreciate success you trivialize a lot of things you insult your cook and say you mean this is the food you cooked and then sometimes after you go through certain processes you come back with a depth of wisdom every time you see success you appreciate it hallelujah number four process creates a memory that helps you sustain success when it comes listen this is very important the Bible says the prosperity of fools will destroy them. Can I tell you why? God, no matter how you pray and fast, there are some realms you must grow into. You will never jump into them. You know why? Because there are certain memories you need to sustain success. Are you listening to me? Look up, please. There are many of you here. You don't know what it means to be charismatic and to be a celebrity. It can be demonic. Are you listening to me? You get to a point where men can almost worship you. At that point, you need the memory of the wilderness to sustain you. Because you can get to a point in your life, people cannot even talk to you. They can't access your office. They can't do everything. That's why today, every time I stand, you see, when I sit down here, you put, see me close my eyes sometimes, I just remember. I say, God, God of Israel. To see where God took us and brought us by grace. A process creates memory are you listening to me when you were taking pap and cocoa you buy cocoa 20 naira yam 10 naira the remaining 10 naira they should put pap half cup when you are taking and now the moment you see delicacies you will remember the bible says thou shall remember so while you are enjoying in the palace that's why david danced he danced before god and Saul's daughter was saying, don't embarrass us. He said, I'm dancing before God who collected the kingdom from your father and gave to me. People who do not, you see why many politicians are reckless over spending because they did not go through a process. Hallelujah. Somebody had 50,000 home and abroad in his account. You jumped into an office and you saw accounts linked to your office with no name. They were not tied to your name. They were tied to the office. You award a contract of 10 million and somebody just brings a, a car of, of 2 million naira. Say, I just said you should use it as throw. When you want to buy a recharge card, just throw it. You say, what for? 
many people jump into success and destiny that's why they are short-lived no matter what kind of prayer you pray if it is success that comes from God I assure you that door of process you must pass through it fast pray cry you must pass through it there are some cups in life that are not meant to pass you must drink it Peter said I will drink the cup he didn't even wait to hear what Jesus was saying and he truly drank it and some cups are big so I must drink everything inside I was told of a man just a story a fictional story I believe that he went to heaven was come complaining and say God which kind of useless cross are you giving me to carry like this I'm seeing people laughing I'm the only one frowning in the world then that he went to heaven and they led him into a room there were all kinds of crosses different weights and sizes and the Lord said oh yeah go and pick one by yourself so that it won't be me he saw one small one very small he just went and carried and the Lord said but that's the same thing you just you just carried what you are complaining that's the one you were carrying on earth The guy said, you mean there are some people carrying this one? He said, and they are happy on earth. From that day, he came back with a mindset. Process. We have taught people in church that process is as a result of lack of faith or demonism or all, of, or all kinds of things. It's not true. Do you know David was anointed king, sir? But when he was anointed king, where did he run to? Back to the wilderness. He was anointed king. He was not anointed shepherd. But he went back to the wilderness. And what happened? He grew into the throne. Hallelujah. He was, he played strings for the king. He became his armor bearer. Then he became king. I won't deceive you, brothers and sisters. There are many of you that are running too fast in life. And you are, you are soon going to have a head-on collision with disappointment. You need to pipe down, come to yourself and take life gradually. I asked some people, I said, what's your financial budget? What do you want to make per year? And they mentioned one stupid and ridiculous and childish figure. Whether it's, it's 10 billion or something, they said they want to be getting per month. I said, starting from now. I said, yes. <laughs> your brother is collecting 30,000. I said, me God forbid. If it's not 250, I won't start. You hold on. Life has a beautiful way of teaching people lessons. You see someone collected that is I say me with this faith that I have now. You just wait and see. Or someone finished school and is going to teach. I say, what kind of nonsense is this? Ah! You have fallen our hands. Hold on. You are going to finish. Contagora, your convocation gown is waiting for you at Contagora Square. You will finish. And then suddenly you find out that life is not fair. As you are graduating, your uncle that says you should bring CV just says, I'm relocating to Holland. Number one, welcome to the real world. Then your father says, now I've been waiting to tell you this. You're of age. Please go and find a boss quarters or whatever. Just get out of my presence. A process helps you. It sustains an experience. How many of you have seen very wealthy people live simple lives? And you are surprised. You say, if it's me that had this money. Because you don't. Never covet a man's result if you don't want his history. Never never covet a man's result that's why reading books i like reading books about people's history not just their results hallelujah they talk about johnson suleiman apostle johnson suleiman a great man many people see him today do you know that this guy i hear was one who was cleaning the shoes of idahosa and doing a lot of things Janfa was telling me how that there was a time someone fell down when Idahosa was around. Fell down in the presence of Johnson Suleiman and broke his head into two. Idahosa held the two heads and joined it back. He was watching process. Today you see him shouting and speaking and you just say, Lord, that dimension, I give myself a span of three months. Wait and see the demons that will lead you there. I'm out of time. I'll round up finally by sharing keys to a successful destiny. I'll give us six keys. Tonight's teaching is very simple and we'll pray. Six keys to a successful destiny. Look at me. Lift your right hand, everybody. Say in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, I receive grace to go through the process of greatness. Say, Lord, I receive grace. I'm not in a hurry 
I will wait. I will move at your timing and enter my destiny in the name of Jesus. Don't let anybody put pressure on you. They say at your age you are not married. They don't have the same destiny. If the person is not married, tell him go and marry. In the, in, in, the overtaking is allowed. Go. Don't, don't put pressure on me. Or they look at you now and say, see, at age 26, I was a millionaire. Look at you, 33. 33, you are looking at me. Take it easy. You have a ministry. There are only five people. You come and sit down in Koinonia and say, hey, you find out how our first crusades were. First crusade. The first day of our first crusade, those of us who went, I think we were, it was us and then some other few people. One day I told God, I said, see, crowd or no crowd. Crowd started coming in our ministry when we gave up on the issue of crowd and just focused on God. I see a lot of people, especially young pastors around. They, that, that the people come carry all kinds of offering and write all kinds of useless titles on it and come and meet me and see one to tap it. Calm down. Don't you know that at every level, there is a level of responsibility that comes with success. Keys to a successful destiny. Number one, determination. You must be determined to succeed. Do you know what determination is? It's a resolve. It's a resolve. Burn the bridge behind you and say no matter how long it will take, I will get to destiny. Some of you here, God is calling you into different areas. Fashion, media. You know that God has told you that the world will hear your voice. But are you willing to pay the price? Let me tell you the truth. If you know what the price is and you pay the price, nobody will stop you. If, if a little girl, madam's daughter, madam, if your daughter holds, assuming a Mercedes Benz is 7 million, if your daughter holds a check of 7 million and goes to a car factory and gives them, will they say your daughter is too small? She brought the price. Let me tell you something. Every enviable destiny you see, including your own, has a price tag. Stop deceiving yourself. Look very well. You will see the price tag. Be determined to succeed. Be determined. You must lose something to get to your destiny. I won't deceive you. You will lose your reputation. You will lose some sacrifices. You may lose your weight. You may lose a lot of things because you will have to fast and pray. You will lose a lot of things. You'll be wearing two shirts and one trouser. You wash it in the night and wear it in the morning, but you are buying books. No problem. A day will come you will not need to buy things again for the rest of your life because you have created an impact. A time will come in my life I am convinced if I buy clothes is my choice. A time will come in my life if I buy cars. Oyedeko said they give him cars every day. Where were the people when he was driving his beetle to go and hear what God was asking? They will come eventually. Be determined. Say in the name of Jesus, I am determined to succeed. Say it in the name of Jesus. No matter what I will go through, I make up my mind. No matter what I have to endure, I will fulfill destiny. Look beyond limitations. Look beyond barriers. Number two. Number two. Go for information. I beg you brothers and sisters, go for information. Your destiny will not open up automatically. It's good to pray. It's good to fast. Go for knowledge. Get information. Hallelujah. Bible says study to show yourself approved a workman 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 study study he said and I Daniel understood by books great men in life are those who read study study the life of great people who are in the area that God is calling you there are two ways to learn in life mentors and mistakes mistakes are the ways that foolish people learn hallelujah mentors open up their wounds for you to see are you listening to me 
so that you may not have to make that same mistake again let people help your life get their books get tapes the bible says follow them who through faith and patience study their stories pray don't just run after power what do they do that brings the presence of god what do they do that brings the favor of god what opened the heavens for them hallelujah say i go for knowledge the bible says proverbs 4 verse 7 it said get wisdom get understanding go for wisdom go for understanding many of us don't buy books we don't invest many of us don't go online years ago before they even started internet mobile communication we used to go for vigil in um, evolution cafe we go and sit down there and we'll just be night vigil because we could not afford browsing anytime we wanted so we'll go in the night you pay 150 or is it 200 then and then you browse all through the night we are browsing peter tan we are searching what is the holy ghost doing around the earth why are some people poor goggle search you keep your eyes there you are wrestling with sleep you say sleep i have a journey i'm going you won't stop me when you are feeling sleepy you get up and stroll outside with your shoe and sandals scattered your shirts oversized everything but you say i'm going somewhere many of you don't be ashamed of the process because it will be a while and you will live it forever hallelujah we're praying many of you sleep and snow and wake up and get angry you think your destiny will open like that no sir get wisdom get information we invested heavily in books i still read books till today i read books on leadership i read books that help me it's not everything you see done that is just the anointing in that sense we're rounding up number three spend time spend time praying for your life and destiny write it if you don't pray for your destiny and you find out that you get there you got there you were dreaming i assure you you were dreaming just wake up wipe your tears and see what you are in now if you wake up just find out that you are because you have a devil who will not let you enter your destiny but it is through the greatness of thy power that the enemies will submit themselves and he spake a parable to the end that men would ought always to pray and not to faint don't you think the devil will sit down and just watch your destiny unfold from the day jesus was announced satan started following him when jesus was fasting satan was patient waited for 40 solid days until jesus finished he said oh thank you and he came he said now that uh, this has happened he began to negotiate your destiny will not change overnight spend time praying lock yourself pray carry the notebook if you don't have a notebook that you are recording things for destiny i know you are lazy and you are not serious about your destiny you must have a notebook how many of you have notebooks don't lift your hands because some of you will be lying don't lift your hands how many of you have notebooks that you write that god showed me i saw it in a vision that one day i'm going to be helping the less privileged i saw myself on tv i saw myself I saw myself beyond my geographical location i saw myself yes i can't speak english well but the me i saw in the speak in the future was speaking polished english so you don't rejoice over me now i know i'm making grammatical structure and, and nonsense but i'm praying thank god you don't need to learn tongues i'm praying it and i'm rising get tesseros get a good dictionary and sit down god told you you'll be a public speaker you think the way you are talking like this will invite you change your mind and read very well get a book on public speaking and read you want to be a man of god and you are ashamed of people and god has said you stand before crowds the remedy pray in tongues boldness boldness will come upon you hallelujah so get a notebook everyone a notebook write destiny or purpose or whatever I have notebooks 
for my finances for the things that God tells me for the visions that he has shown me some of the books are torn I've, I've been transferring them through the years some of the sermons that we preach here are, are things that the Lord taught me sometimes I would dust it and read it and cry and say your majesty you taught me these things I did not understand but now I understand if you don't have any book who, how will you teach people in the future because many of you are only thinking about yourself and your wife and your children think posterity hallelujah spend time praying say I receive grace to pray for my destiny be disciplined be disciplined and focused Isaiah 50 verse 7 he said I have set my eyes like a flint you must be focused in life many of you are too distracted you are doing everything you are in every group you are in every association you are in everything where are you going I'm going where small time now you carry one girl or one guy add to the, the trouble you are creating you are going where are we going how many of you have climbed bike and you told the bike he called the name of the place he didn't even hear he said yes I know and now you are going later you tell him ah do you know the place he said Kai, I, the last time I came here he doesn't know where he's going when you don't know where you are going and you carry other people there's an accident that is going to happen for sure be disciplined if God has called you to ministry for instance you've got to be disciplined you are like a military man you cannot entangle yourself with civilian affairs. It's a sacrifice. You can't live an ordinary life. No. You can't accept the call. See, when you accept the call of God upon your life, that's your end to an ordinary life. Sisters, if God has told you you marry a man of God, just know that you are going to live a life of sacrifice forever. Just forget about trying to have it my way. That one is gone. Go and look for a pilot or, or, or someone, a businessman. God has called you. What's your name, sir? Eh? Philip, please stand up, sir. God has called you, for instance. All right? And no, keep standing. And say, Philip, tomorrow you are going to own banks, for instance. And now God has spoken to you. And now Philip is not doing anything. He just says, Prophet, so, so, so. so every time he sees him on TV, he said, That's the guy. He spoke about my destiny. He said it 10 years ago. 10 years later, nothing, no movement in the realm of the spirit because it will not happen automatically. Please sit down. What has God told you? What are you doing about it? When I knew the call of God was upon my life, I started reading books. I have books about ethics of ministry, I have books about church planting, discipline, focus. Now is not the time for visiting everybody. That day will come. But now is not the time. Some of you are always visiting and running around. You go and meet your friends. Tell lies. Tell lies. Tell lies. You are lying and they are listening to you. You are just telling lies. You don't even know when you have tied yourself in. They are just looking at you. You are lying. What you say you didn't do. In the gist later you said you did it. And then they remind you. and say, Oh sorry. I didn't do this. Those things are unnecessary settle down with your destiny the bible says in the multitude of many words many useless words sin what is the sin for what lying you say things that didn't happen create your film there act it the people are watching you be composed listen i'm telling you package yourself like a leader you can't just do everything hallelujah be disciplined you are saying god is going to bless you and you stand before nations you are just moving outside you just buy popcorn you just cry oh, you are pretty some even small you pick it and drop you won't go far that way i assure you you won't go pray in tongues you won't go far that way you must be disciplined you go somewhere you have not even prayed for the people they said there's food you say hey thank you why can't you hold yourself the bible says a man who does not have control over his spirit is like a city without walls there is a time to eat there is a time to live there is a time to collect money for many gullible people there is a time to live and say god bless you hallelujah there are ethics many of us need to learn it 
you have not done anything you want to sit in front the bible says, when you come into a place go and sit at the back hallelujah it's god that will bring you to the front many of you will come i'm not saying front literally you get what i'm saying you just come and sit then later they say the, the people who they kept the seat for coming they lead you in front of everybody you must go and sit at that back and start gradually till you come if you ever came to the front because someone brought you that's not your position it's just favor you will still go back many people have lived around successful people and they think they are successful if i have a friend come sir my brother if I have a friend, assuming this guy is my PA, every time I go for administration, you will sit in front of me. It can be deceitful. Because the day I'm not around, you will bounce in front. And they'll say, go back, Jerry. You really believe you deserve the front seat? Many of you are leveraging on the success of others. And God is telling you, you need to create a track record for yourself. You don't pray, but their prayer covers for you you don't fast their fasting covers you say i like this kind of friendship a day will come you will stand on your own that's the day the robber will hit the road god bless you sir the time i was trying to save has gone praise god finally embrace a life of competence and excellence proverbs 22 verse 29 see thou a man diligent in his business mediocrity will only end you average in life whether in ministry whether in business whether in politics whether in education on your job be excellent be competent genesis 41 verse 14 powerful scripture it says and pharaoh sent for joseph and pharaoh sent for joseph why because he interpreted the dreams. Do you know what he said? He said, and Pharaoh sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Pharaoh sent for Joseph. Joseph had prepared himself. I've said it, favor is when preparation meets opportunity. And the king, Pharaoh, sent for Joseph. And what happened? They brought Joseph out of his competence that will bring you out of your dungeon. Many of you are in some dungeons you inherited. If you remain there, you will remain there. You will give birth there. Hallelujah. I have a destiny in Christ. And I vowed to my generation that I will pay the debt that I owe this generation. I'm speaking to champions right now. Look at me. We are going to pray. Many of you are sitting. You are hearing the voice of God through what I'm saying. You need to rise up tonight. Don't just feel emotional about it. And tell yourself, I've had this word. And I'm going to run with it. Outside. Some of you may be outside. Nobody is seeing you. You are just there. I want you to know that destiny is calling. Vow to yourself that I won't fail. That you won't allow anybody. Go back and find out what am I on earth here for cry unto God. If you don't know why you are living, you will keep escorting everybody in destiny. And you will get old and find out that all you were doing was to be escorting others. It's time to discover purpose. If you cannot tell me why you are alive in one sentence, you do not know it. Hallelujah. I assure you, you do not know it. The first time I heard Dr. Miles Munro say this, I said, what kind of arrogant man is this? But eventually I found out it's true. Hallelujah. What is the color of your shirt, Aaron? Black. Simple. Say the color is the one that is not the white. You don't know it. What is the color of your shirt? Black. What is the color of your own? White. Period. What are you here for? Don't talk Greek. And what are you here for? If you don't know it, go and flog it out with destiny. Because there are many people who do not know. For the prophet, he said, while you were in your mother's womb, there are many of you God has called you to wipe the tears of generations there are many of you God has called you to have NGOs and conglomerates that will help people there are some of you who are entrepreneurs some of you are evangelists some of you are going to be in the area of government some business some politics do you know what you are working for or you are just depending on your certificate and then ladies hoping that one man will come and then you ask the man what what are you and the guy say i'm a preacher i said to him, i'm a preacher's wife is that what you are waiting for rise up on your feet i made this decision years ago i cried
cried in Abu Dam. I said, God, I will not leave this place till you open up the portals of destiny for me. I must know what I'm on earth here for. Today, I thank God for knowing why I'm here on earth because many lives have been blessed and this is only the beginning of great things to come. Many of you who have discovered destiny, have you been walking in it? Go back and listen to this thing. Provoke yourself. Don't let a generation die. You have the destiny of a generation upon your shoulder. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Say, Lord, I thank you for this word tonight. The price. Katapalata kabaria. My generation will hear my voice in the name that is above all names. Jesus was born in a manger. No one saw him except a few people. When he was about going to heaven, a crowd was there watching him. You came to this earth. Only a few nurses and doctors saw you. Who is it that will see your life and say, Thank God that he came and lived? I was watching a documentary of Archbishop Benson Idahosa and they wrote, they said he came, he saw, and he conquered. Can that be your testimony? Lift your voice and begin to pray. That will be my testimony in this life. That a young man came, he saw, he shook the sands of time. I will shake my generation with the power of God. I will shake my generation with the life of God. I will bring sinners to the saving knowledge of God. We will go to nations. I tell you, I've been saying this thing for years. Lift your voice and pray. We are rounding up. Pray. The Holy Ghost is here. Say, I'm not ordinary. I refuse excuses. I'm ready to begin to take a definite journey. No matter what the limits are, I take off the limits. Lord, together with you, we are an unbeatable team. You are the prayer point of someone on the way to happen. Someone has been praying. The Bible says the earnest expectation of creation waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Don't say I am weak. Don't say I am small. Don't say I am local. No. Take off the limits. Nigeria will hear voice. Pray it. Africa will hear my voice. In the name that is above every other name. I will take the word of the Lord. The counsel of the Lord. I will stand before nobles. I will stand before royalties. And they will hear the wisdom of the Lord. Nothing will stop me. I'm an infant of fire. Going by the power of the Holy Ghost. No devil born in hell can stop me pray say I will build that hospital by the power of the Holy Ghost I will build that airport I will build that bank by the power of the Holy Ghost I will be that kingdom financier pray say I will be that prophet I will be that apostle it does not yet appear but the mantle is on you I tell you rise Great one, hear the voice of the Lord. I speak to you, Almighty Man of Valor, Almighty Woman of Valor. Just walk with God, He will make a wonder. No matter what your disadvantages are, yes, you are not in school yet. That's not an excuse. You cannot speak English, you lost your parents. You've not gotten a job you are not married yet you don't have children yet that's not an excuse make up your mind i go through the process pray say lord i pay the price the price of diligence the price of prayer the price of fasting i go for knowledge i pay the price I pay the price for financial prosperity. I pay the price for the anointing. I pay the price for the influence of the spirit. I pay the price of diligence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are many of you. You're already paying your price in school right now. Avoid that laziness. If you are a student, don't leave as if you have graduated. 
Stop that fake and useless life. You are paying a price. You may soak Gary, drink it honorably. You may have one shirt, wear it honorably. Once upon a time, we could not afford these things. But today, by grace, he has helped us. You will remain that way. So don't behave as if you remain that way. Don't try to look for things around you to define you. Be proud of where you are. Start it honorably. You may not have food to eat, but you can pray and say, Lord, I know this is only for a while. A day will come I will feed nations. In one minute, say, Lord, hold my hands and let's walk to destiny. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Strengthen my hands, oh God. Lift your voice and cry. For it's a year of supernatural exploits. Lord, hold my hands. Hold my hands through challenges where I want to give up, oh God. He said, and when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Say, Lord, tonight I make a vow and a commitment. If I perish, I perish. But I must leave destiny. If I perish, no going back. I burn the bridge behind me. There may be sufferings for a while. There may be constraints for a while. You will give up a lot of things for a while. But it's not compared, I tell you, it's not compared to that glorious destiny, that enviable destiny. The shepherd boy became a king. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So there is a dimension of your work with God that is beyond covenant. Is if I perish, I perish. I love you beyond this thing. Are you getting my point? That teaching of saying, if I give God A, He must give me B, is not accurate. Whether God gives you B or not, are you getting my point? If you can put that to your concept of covenant, it becomes balanced. Otherwise, we are going to have a bunch of hypocrites in the body of Christ claiming they love God. God, I gave you five naira. You promised me ten naira. I'm still waiting. If it does not come, you are not God. I will announce to the whole world that you are not faithful. Have you had people say that? I will drop my mic and stop preaching. Ah. That's not accurate. I love him. I know that he is faithful to do this. But even if he does not do it, my commitment. Bible faith that works. Right? And there is another concept that was a product of hunger and dimness of light and this is what many people advocate and they call faith hallelujah there are so many people who are not practicing what the bible calls faith and we'll look at it very in fact this one i just had this two to share but in the afternoon the lord just pressed this thing in my heart i want to define faith faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction about God his love for you his integrity and his ability I'll come again faith is the name given to the action the action you take based on your conviction please if you have not been listening now is the time to wake up don't let the devil cheat you this is this is the bottom part of this teaching before we start ministry. Praise God. The action you take based on your conviction about God, His love for you, His integrity, and His ability. Faith is the name given to you. The action. The action that is taken. Your action not your intention or wishful thinking is called faith many people call wishful thinking faith many people call hallucination and imagination faith this is metaphysics are you getting my point now there are people who have all kinds of jargons on the walls and the room of their houses and they are not satisfying the scriptural conditions to be become these things and we read a lot of books that say sit down wake up in the night just look at it let it enter your subconscious be careful there is a balanced view 
about the power of imagination and there is an erroneous occultic new age metaphysics understanding that is leading people into derision are you getting my point now faith is action everybody say it listen if you have not yet taken action you have not manifested faith i don't care what else you have done listen please if you get this revelation many of you as this word is coming you will walk out of your sick body at once because of the power of this revelation i will show you from scripture help us holy spirit which watch is correct now wow i have to rush there is no faith without action impossible there is no faith without action hallelujah i always give an example um let me use somebody mike come i'm going to call this gentleman please everybody concentrate when i call you say you are coming but don't come mike come what did i ask him to do he's saying he's coming did he come mike come and take if you can live where you are and come here by reason of your trust take this is what a lot of believers are doing we start dreaming nonsense thinking we are manifesting faith there are conditions god is saying fulfill that condition and take we are busy standing and saying oh i know i just know i know it will happen no. it doesn't happen that way bless you sir everybody say faith is the action taken based on my conviction of god's word his love for me his integrity and his ability that action is what the bible calls faith are you getting something tonight this is an eye opener for many people because you will see that what a lot of us are calling believe 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 is not true we are not manifesting faith faith the faith life does not make you an idiot we have turned this faith thing to become as if we are foolish people read your bible those who walk in authentic realms of faith did not behave the way we are behaving hallelujah let me show you a few scriptures Matthew chapter 9 if you can help us very quickly media Matthew chapter 9 from verse 18 to 22 remember the woman with the issue of blood just write it and look up Matthew 9 from verse 18 hallelujah uh, let's just go to 19 and Jesus arose and followed him and so did his disciples verse 20 and behold a woman which was diseased with the issue of blood how many years 12 years came behind him and did what she did what she came and took action is that true she did something based on a conviction that she had what was the conviction 21 for she said within herself that's where many of us stop is that not true oh i know if jesus passes here if i may but touch his garment while she said that she was waiting when she saw jesus she said crowd protocol fire this night the bible says as she touched it do you know if she did not touch him that's how she would have remained like that is that true and that will make jesus look as though he was not powerful see in action is the missing component in our faith equation we do every other thing but take steps as simple as what i'm telling you is is the reason why many people will never be delivered many people will never be healed many people may never experience the blessings of god another story john 5 from verse 5 to 9 remember the important man very interesting story john 5 jesus always demanded action john 5 and a certain man was there which had infirmity how many years 30 and 8 years is that true look at me he never got healed 
because he did not take action is that true verse 6 we have to run and jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been there a long time in that case he said unto him will thou be made whole verse 7 the impotent man started giving all kinds of explanations verse 8 like many of us are giving and jesus said unto him look at me how can jesus tell a man who has been lying down for 38 years who cannot move he said rise take in other words prove your conviction by doing something you have never done 38 years jesus is not an idiot he sees a man lying down just to move to a pool close to him you could not move for 38 years now jesus says you claim you trust me if you believe i'm the messiah stop giving me that grammar rise up in the moment you take the action the power of god comes in it does not take a long time this is faith the action you take based on your conviction let's look at a few more mark 2 mark 2 mark 2 verse 1 to 12 but let's just look at verse 4 mark 2 verse 4 we have to hurry up this is already the miracle mark 2 verse 4 listen when they could not come nigh unto him for the press they uncovered the roof look at me jesus was holding a crusade is that true is that true those sitting outside say amen so the bible says there were people packed full inside and outside like this is that true and jesus was teaching and certain people were desperate and they said today you have been a liability to us you must stand up we are not ready to take you back home and the bible says when they came they saw the crowd the people said the owner of this house we will negotiate after the miracle but for now they got do you know what it means jewish do you know how jewish houses were made they were made with mud you would have to break through look at what the bible says they uncovered the roof that was and when they had what they broke it jesus was just sitting down and he had some people hitting i'm sure others were saying don't disturb or say keep talking i will keep manifesting faith when i get what i want i can tell you sorry the, listen 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 the bible says wherein the sick of palsy lay i want to show you something that will shock you now next verse please ah, yeah, 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 yeah. when jesus saw what what was their faith their action their action that that step they took based on their conviction the bible says faith can be seen it's not some metaphysical thing i can know whether you have faith by the degree of your adherence to the principles i can see it and know whether your faith is working you you can't fool us and say i have faith if you have faith see james said show me show me your your works without faith and i will show you my faith through the action that i'm taking what does that mean that you came here with cancer do you believe the lord will heal you yes i believe that's why i came that's good step one when the word of god comes that's the time to shake off cancer from your body and say cancer you had the prophetic word shake it off don't just sit down you're wondering no two more scriptures quickly luke 17 this is an interesting one the story of the ten lepers verse 11 let me show you the dynamics the spiritual technology that is responsible for the miraculous i pray that your eyes will be open to see verse 13 please let's hurry up listen the bible says there were 10 lepers who have been discussing is this how we will continue abby people will come and drop offering or whatever for them and the bible says they had that means they had been they had received an assurance that jesus was able to do it is that true now watch what happened this was their first manifestation of faith when jesus was passing what happened they lifted up are you getting me now and they did what 
the bible did not say they lifted it and just they just whispered to lift up means they shouted and they said jesus master you know jesus doesn't walk alone i'm sure his peers were saying hurry up they said we may be crippled but our mouth is not crippled we are going to shout till we get your attention listen did jesus respond that's how he will always respond when we manifest faith next verse and when he saw them he said unto them listen hi i love jesus goodness he just said the only reason why you are calling me is because you think i can help you if you really believe stand up go and show yourself as simple as that no grammar of saying okay if i said this then thee should grammar that thing we do is not called faith if you take action god is committed listen the bible says and it came to pass watch this as they this is the dynamics listen i want to explain something powerful here as they they were that means their being clean was tied to their going as they they were this sign shall not go before if you prove god sent you start moving and he said the signs the signs will follow those who can act this is why we are here tonight hallelujah just one last scripture and then we'll pray goodness my spirit is fired up john 9 let's look at one example of one blind man john 19 verse 1 to 8 but we'll just look at verse 7 jesus came look at me there are so many interesting people that do lots of things in church do you know that there are people that when they come when hands are about to be laid on them they say don't lay hands on me just speak you are a sick patient the doctor said turn for injection you say i don't like injection walk out of the hospital as simple as that when there's a way the sickness will press you that even if the syringe is the type they give a cow you say just give me When you still have options you are not yet pushed to the world look let me tell you there is a way life will push you to the world that you must react are you getting my point verse 7 are we there john what did i say john 9 not 19 9. listen look up please let me just tell the story quickly remember the man who was born blind the bible says jesus spat on the floor correct and he started making clay i can imagine well the man could not see him. now watch this Hiya, i love jesus jesus inspires me i'm telling you he said unto him to who the blind man jesus was not talking to the person who was holding his hand he spoke to the blind man he said oh god go wash in the pool of siloam which by interpretation is sent and the bible says he went his way therefore and washed and returned see how will jesus speak to a blind man oh yeah i've done my own part if you like sit down here for one week if you are interested go and wash remember what the prophet told naaman he said go to jordan and bath while he was giving all those confessions i will not go i will go i will not go he said continue if you want to manifest faith carry two of your legs march to jordan he was saying are there no other river this is many people think it just stops at talking 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 naaman was talking rapping standing in front of elijah's he didn't even come out he said tell him go and wash and do it seven times he went there it was a very muddy water hallelujah bath the first time nothing happened he was getting angry but when the word is fulfilled god is committed i can imagine the holy ghost just roaming around that pool number two he could not move because until your obedience is complete number three the guy could not move at a point he would say oh god he said seven times seven seven that was the word number five he would have just left and gone back 
and the Holy Ghost said two more times for my spirit to come in listen the Bible says the moment he entered the seventh time he just came out and he saw his skin that means the Holy Ghost was waiting anxiously you do your part you do your part and see the power of the highest you do your part and see that cancer melt you do your part and see that curse broken in your family hallelujah at the beautiful gate there was a man there the Bible says he begged for arms is that true Peter and John went to pray at the hour of prayer and the Bible says he was begging them he was not begging to stand up because he did not believe are you getting me so he had no reason to take action because he was not convicted but Peter did something because faith comes by hearing when you hear of someone's ability he said mr. man I don't have money to give you but there is something I have in the name of the Lord Jesus if you believe I have this he said stand look up the man sat down there and was looking at them and was wondering and Peter remembered the teachings of Jesus and the Bible says Peter held his hand and said stand up and the Bible says he leaping he leaping he leaping the Holy Ghost was moving Peter get this man to take a step in every area of life listen there is a role you have to play are you getting me there's no time i would have shown you how that for every area of your life when the word came in samaria by this time tomorrow nothing happened but the power of god was moving waiting for those who would take action all the people in the land including the emojis did not go and the spirit of god went to four lepers they said we will stay here and die we are lepers but let's stand up the bible says when they went the, the enemy started hearing the sound this is the amplification of the spirit the sound of chariots until there is action you are not manifesting faith if you can get this teaching tonight by the time you are coming for february miracle service you'll be shocked because see this as simple as what i'm sharing is this is the missing link you are praying and fasting but you have not found out the conditions for prosperity it's not demons it will not change till the day you find out and walk in it are you getting what i'm saying there are keys that's your part when you see listen i submit to you with all humility are you seeing this crowd that are gathered they did not come by magic if you think it's by magic try it people are not idiots are you getting my point i said by with all humility i hope it doesn't look like i'm bragging i'm just trying to communicate a point do you know what it means for people to come and sit on the fence sit everywhere there are keys if you don't have it you don't have it but when you find it i can imagine the holy ghost based on the conviction he gave us while we started preparing as decoration was working the power of god said now you are responding based on what you believe i'll do tonight therefore let me begin to bring all the people to honor the word don't you see that this is how faith works listen there are many people who will never marry because they are waiting until the day a sponsor or a donor gives them two million god has spoken to you marrying you how much do you have hundred thousand but god said start moving he said hey lord I, this girl's parents the way they looked at me that day what is your business this sign shall follow the moment you are going your uncle starts calling and says i just felt like calling you he did not just feel the holy ghost the one who confirms the word hallelujah listen the sister who gave a testimony about the change in her result imagine if they prayed for her now a prophetic word had come is that not true she sat down she said lord i believe your word what did she do she got up as she was did you see that when they checked they did not find her paper but God said, am I too small?
small and you just drop the paper on the table did you not hear the testimony listen when you play your part i'm telling you in an inexplainable way god is committed and tonight i want you to know that your part is to have come see i tell people with all humility that for coming to this ground alone is already 50 percent of your problem so you know why hold on if you know the demonic forces that as many people hear what happened this morning and the way the devil tried to stop them from coming many of you will agree with me that things came up some of you didn't even have money but you said if it means trekking i will trek while you were trekking the holy ghost was saying mark them mark them practitioners of the world they must be blessed tonight some of you came outside and you still sat down your friend said let's go back you said i'm not going back you can go but this night although i'm outside my ministry must change my business must change this cancer must die rise up on your feet everybody go ahead and pray in tongues in one minute god is about to do mighty things in this place rise up on your feet everybody Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I'm convinced that you are able. You can change my story. In a few minutes, the Lord will do mighty things in this place. In a few minutes, the Lord will do mighty things in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Please listen to me. I tell you the truth. I came here tonight with a very unusual unction. I know the things that I've been, the head of department, prayer band, he even sensed it. I remember he sent me a text. Hallelujah. When the Holy Ghost is in a place, nobody can tell the extent of devastation he can do to the kingdom of hell. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, no matter how far you are, make sure tonight, as you hear the word, listen, I don't know the issue that you came here with. I can only communicate the few because of time constraint and because we see in part I must not mention your case are you getting what I'm saying this atmosphere carries an anointing so no matter how far no matter what the issue is it will bow it will bow tonight hallelujah listen listen as i begin to rebuke sicknesses we're going to be very fast we don't have time for a lot of things hallelujah god assured me that there will be dramatic dramatic instant healings dramatic instant healings now listen please when we begin to pray i don't know if we we'll call the people out and lay hands or whatever it is we will do 
make sure remember the teaching you must take action you must take action that action look at what our mommy shared remember the, the, the testimony our mommy shared do you know that we brought I sent that they should bring a seat for her what? she refused as a proof to the devil are you getting my point that, that I may be old but I'm well are you ready to drop those chains now there is no need please hear me there is no need tonight to walk away with whatever situation for there is a name there are families represented here tonight tonight you will pass the red sea and you will part with egypt forever There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Higher. It's time for people's lives to change. Break every chain. Break every, Break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. There are families under bondages, yokes. There are many of us who have come under spells. It's time for us to check those devils out of the lives of people. Because the Bible says, upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and holiness. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Hallelujah. I tell you if you see what the lord is showing me in the spirit goodness the devil is in trouble this night lift your hands brothers and sisters thank you father please lift your hands inside and outside hallelujah hear me wherever you are the power of god is going to begin to move across the crowd and everywhere you are there is a name tonight that is above every demon every yoke every spell and at the mention of that name devils will leave hallelujah hallelujah at the count of three wherever you are goodness there will be so much deliverances outside listen as i count three i want you to shout that name that's your action of faith at the top of your voice and we will begin to command this wicked spirit already the power of god is moving are you ready now one, two, three. Hoshekatetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetet
fire out. The fire is falling outside. Lift up your hands. Oh, ye gates. I command spirits, devils, let those people go now. Bring them out, bring them out. Hey! Outside, the fire of God is falling. The fire of God is falling. Outside, the fire of God, every rope, every cross, every covenant, every ordinance of darkness, tonight, in the name of Jesus, the name of God is Help the ushers, please. If they need more people, help them. Let's save time. Let's save time. We don't have time. Please. The power of God is falling outside. Falling outside. Falling outside. Every spell. Hallelujah. Just those outside, lift your hands. The first overflow and the second, both of you lift your hands. Hey. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. There will be a rain of deliverance. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Hallelujah. Hush. Please follow me. We have to hurry up. Listen. Goodness. There are people here. Listen. You can't sleep sound in the night. Someone must come and sleep with you or oppress you. There are people who see snakes. This lady is one of them. Let her go. Come out now. Out. Out. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Ha praise Kabala Dadara. Out. Hareta Kataledaba. Hallelujah. Now listen, please. Please, let's hurry up. Just follow me. Just keep bringing them. Goodness. There are so many angels outside. Kapren de Gambo. There's no hiding. Not in the light of God. Second. In Terekaba, Shakapapa, so close to Bala, the post of Porto, the best of the Kaleva, the let her go now by the fire of the holy ghost i challenge you right now in the name of jesus break every chain out of her now now Come out of her right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. Let her go now. Now. Break every chain. 
break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break Listen, listen, many of you don't know why, listen, hear me, please listen, let's hurry up. Do you know that behind the situation of many people at the workings of these wicked spirits? Listen to me, please. Don't let anybody fool you. There are some of you, you may not need to fall. But deliverance is already happening to you. So don't you think it's just those that come out? No. Once the word goes, some of you are already feeling things leaving you. Look, look at this girl for instance. You really believe a lady will have this strength? Three people holding her. Wickedness is real. Leave her alone on your knees and out of her quickly just leave her on your knees and out of her in the name of the lord jesus watch the power of faith all of you watch just no don't worry don't concentrate on her when she does it leave her alone listen listen you see why it's good to be spiritual because now one brother will just get up and come you don't know where you are i'm not talking about her now please nobody should stigmatize her are you getting my point one brother just comes and bounces you don't know what is happening around the spiritual arena of somebody's life you come and enter into something that will whip out look at she cannot even go out look at she's standing at the door she can't even cross the door she will go on her knees don't worry you will see the authentic power of the holy ghost listen brothers and sisters hear me behind the pain of many families is the operation of darkness are you getting what i'm saying many of our families some of you as you are standing here don't think god is visiting you alone you should understand us here your salvation is not complete until your household is touched these are the spirit. That's why you try and try. You keep doing. This is what has stopped the admission of others. This is what has stopped the marriage of others. This is what has killed the destiny of many people. But tonight, you will part ways with it forever. Now I want to pray. I see a lot of many of you will be surprised what will happen now. Hallelujah. There are so many people that are tormented in their dreams. Listen to me. You can't have a sound sleep. But you see people come. Animals chasing you. All kinds of devilish demonic things. Snakes. Some of you having intercourse with all kinds of people. Whether a man, whether a woman. When you are about to go for a job interview. These things happen to you and that's the end of it. It doesn't matter what happens tonight. There will be a separation once and for all. Lift up your hands again. Please lift up your hands. Let's hurry up. Whether they are causes, whether they are yokes, whether they are manifestations of spirit husband, spirit wife, wherever that devil is, as you shout, Jesus, I see fire. Fire will move from inside to outside and many people will be delivered right now at the count of three are you ready thank you father let your fire move right now one two three go 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 spirit husband spirit wife demons of darkness ancestral causes go 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 Serpents, scorpions, marine spirits, out, 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 by the fire of the Holy Ghost, 
For all these people outside, I'm speaking to the spirits now. At the count of three, the fire of God burns you out of these people. Every spirit, hear my voice. I speak from the realm of the spirit right now. The fire of the Holy Ghost. One, two, three. You go and return no more. Leave them. Leave them. Go and return no more. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. You have peptic ulcer. Lay your hands on your chest right now. Quickly, please. Please, let's save time. Peptic ulcer. God is healing peptic ulcer now. Now, I don't know if we have all the time. Hallelujah. We want to take a few instant testimonies. Some of these people, when they stand up from being delivered, many of them will stand up with all kinds. Some of them are having visionary experiences right now. I hear the chains falling, falling. Yeah. I give the chains. I give the chains. Oh, she back it, take it I give the chains. I give the chains. Now listen, listen. 
let me explain this we always do but for the sake of those who are coming don't you think that those who are being delivered here are witches are you getting my point because as you are standing there you are receiving your own deliverance this is a family this is an oppression of darkness we don't want to know what the reasons are they must go are you getting my point now peptic ulcer in the name of jesus god is going to heal peptic ulcer right away some of you listen some of you will feel let me see how many people with peptic ulcer inside and outside just lift your hands let me know all right quickly as i pray for you for many of you you will feel something lift off you if that happens to you run out quickly and come out run out quickly please let's save time in the name of jesus i'm seeing a lot of black substances around the chest of people i cause that devil of ulcer i command the wound heal now heal and close up now heal and close up now not later Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Regina. Regina. Who is Regina? Regina. Please, when I call your name, quickly, quickly, hurry up. Regina. The Lord, the Lord is setting your family free from witchcraft. Are you hearing me? This is what God is doing. This lady is going to begin to cough out things. Please take her outside. Come. She's going to begin to cough out things. Out of her now. Take her outside, please. Please clean this up. The Lord is setting your family free. Look at me. You will begin to see dramatic things happen in your family because this has been the finger of darkness thank you jesus christ let there be healing let there be restoration in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now there's someone there's someone here you feel movement around your right leg you literally feel like an object like a snake moving around especially when you're on your bed who is that person the lord is revealing to me please quickly let's save time once i mention your case just come out quickly so that whether you are inside or outside let's just hurry up very quickly we don't have time goodness help us lord the devil is in trouble tonight <laughs> hallelujah thank you sir you are the person okay hold on you've been having this pain please tell us how has it been yeah it started from here listen listen please for about three years now about three years what do you feel sir feel pain here they scanned so nothing they scanned there was nothing and you feel it moving yes up to now even... up till now even now as you are talking watch it disappear now watch it disappear you, you are an elderly man you get my point so you will not come and be lying when it's not done but you watch and see what the power of god will do because they scanned it medically goodness please let me do something quickly i see this lady wearing a crown let it go in the name of jesus christ lay your hands on her anybody lay your hands Thank you, Jesus. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, let her go now. All our workers are anointed. It doesn't matter who lays hands on them. Out! An anointed hand is upon you and you must go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sir, look at me. The Lord Jesus brings you healing. Complete healing. Thank you, Jesus. I want to rebuke that spirit right now. That devil of darkness, let him go right now. In the name of Jesus. Wow, something is happening to you. You feel something happening to you? 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Kabro That devil, go! Now in the name of Jesus. Can you walk now? Just shake your leg. You feel pain? Only here. Where? Right here. All right, lay your hands. Lay your hands. Lay your own hands there. The power of God is going through you, that very place. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cause pain. Tell me, do you feel any pain there? You feel any pain there? It's going. It's going, right? It's going, right? Look at him smiling. It's going, right? Now, check it. Check it. Thank you. Thank you. What is happening? Check it. Check it. Check it. Go around. Go around. Go Everything will be. Thank you, Jesus. Now bend down. Go ahead. Bend down. Just no, not kneel down. Just bend down. Up and down. Exercise. Yes. I want the pain leave. Any pain. Any pain. Come on now. Give Jesus strength. Any pain there. It's going. It's going. Where? Where exactly? You should be totally healed. What did the doctors tell you? These are demonic things. About, about, about six. Six years. Five or six scanning. Anytime, listen. Anytime you scan, you see the doctors checking, checking. And they tell you, we don't know what is wrong. Save yourself headache. Just come for prayers quick. Because it's the classic sign that this is the finger of God. This is the finger of Satan. Three years. It's exactly three years. Thank you, Jesus. Say, I'm healed. In, in Jesus' name. Now check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Go ahead. Hit, hit yourself there. That's what I want. Until you don't feel any pain. What do you feel? Everything. 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 When everything, when everything disappears, that's how problems. Look at God healing. Regina, Madam, ah, now wow! Look at the spirit of death lingering over you. The devil would have taken your life in an accident. It would have been an accident, a bike accident. A car would hit you and kill you. That would be the end of it. Are you married? Where's your husband? We have to pray for him too. But well, let me pray for you. I cast that spirit of death. Go! No death. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Your mom feels movement. Hold my hands. We set her mom free right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, there's somebody, please listen. This, this is where the pain is. The Lord is showing me. Just this side. I don't know whether it is, it's a bump, it's a pain, it's a swelling. Very serious at this side of your neck. Please, who is that person? The Lord is healing that person right now. The Lord is healing that person right now. Very quickly, the Lord is healing that person. The Lord is healing that person right now. Please, quickly, quickly, let's save time. The Lord is healing that person right now. Quickly, the Lord is healing that person. Come, you are the first person God will heal. The devil wants to bring madness on you. Hold on, look at me first. Don't show me your back. You, wait. The devil wants to bring madness on you. This is how you would have seen this guy. I don't know who knows him. You would have seen him walking on the street. Because it's a, sometimes you sit... Do you have any feeling maybe you are not yourself you have those yes sir you have those kind of feelings sometimes you feel as if you don't even it's like you don't know yes this is madness this thing would have come upon you last year it was because of the hand of god and the devil was determined that this year this madness must follow you but tonight god will deliver you you believe me we have to pray for you because i'm seeing you tied in the spirit this is what i'm seeing tied completely God is touching someone there. Bring the lady. Let hope rise. I command that madness. Go! Right now. Are you seeing? Look at what is happening to him. Look at, look at this. Look at this. How can somebody just start scratching his head because I said go? 
This is madness. The devil wanted to put your body. Go, 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 go. Out of him right now. Take your devilish madness back to hell. Hallelujah. What's she here for? Your neck. Now all of you lay your hands. God will heal you right now. Please. Look at the number of people. How can I just guess that your neck is failing you? Lay your hands. The power of God will touch you right now. Bring that lady for me. Must go now. I'm seeing an altar burning. I'm seeing a shrine on fire. I'm seeing a shrine on fire. This is what is happening to this girl. I'm seeing a shrine, a shrine catching fire. Every shrine, every devil's shrine, where your name and that of your family member has been taken to, it catches fire now. It catches fire now. Hallelujah. Goodness. God is going to do a fantastic miracle outside. I'm seeing a hole in the teeth covering outside. God is filling up supernaturally a hole in the teeth. Please check it. If you confirm you are the one, don't tell us lies here. Please confirm it and come out. God is, God is filling holes. Holes. Literally, literally to close up. Hallelujah. Now, ladies, God wants to do a number of things. Irregular menstruation. God is going to heal a lot of these things. And then, lump. Lump in the breast or around wherever, abdominal region. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everybody. I want to pray. Remember action when I pray for you. Check yourself. Right now, every lump in any part of anyone's body, whether in the breast area, in the back, at the abdomen, around any part of the body, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I cause that growth now. Let it disappear now. Let it disappear now. Let it disappear now. Now, now, long go in the name of Jesus. Now begin to check yourself. Begin to check yourself. Hallelujah. Now let's do this quickly. Every every other person, if you came here specifically for a healing miracle, please come out and line up here. Or if you brought somebody, please. Just line up Usher's protocol. Help us arrange them, please. Please be very orderly. No fighting. Let's hurry up. While that is happening, how many of you have not written your prayer requests? Please write it quickly, quickly. Write it quickly and let's have it. You came specifically, whether within Zaria or outside Zaria, you came specifically for healing. hallelujah specifically for healing please let's save time you can see that we're really out of time we started late hallelujah myself and bishop will minister to you listen please as we pray for you expect the power of god to touch you and as the power of god touches you begin to check yourself as you go back to your seat please come out line up once we pray for the first row just give thanks and the rest will just be praying in tongues worship team you're going to lead us
very hot worship as we do this very very quickly hallelujah bishops so we are going to pray for you some of you are coming out what will happen is these wicked spirits that are responsible for these things will leave you are you following me now i know that there are some of you standing in for your loved ones so as we pray call them there are some of you put your phone on speaker when it's time to prophesy tell your loved ones a word is coming wherever they are let the power of god touch them hallelujah bless you worship team you are the great and mighty god so greatly to be praised beautiful for all situations you are the joy of the whole
affects him any okay but but we're going to pray that is a uh, you came here and the lord jesus is going to visit you right now we don't fake what you see here there is a name that is above every other name hallelujah it doesn't matter who lays hands on you brothers and sisters there is an anointing yeah are you getting what i'm saying hallelujah i am serving the living God out his out. name out is Jesus out. Christ I see him die this is what I see he died and he rose and he gave me victory Say it again, say it again. I am saved. 
Legs, goodness. Since when? Ten years. Ten years. How do are you a witness? Is you that brought? What? What? How do? How does he shift? She will fall and can hold on. Look at me. Look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Nikab, I speak to you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, no shifting for you again from today. I bring you the authority of the kingdom and the spirit that sponsors this wickedness out. Now, I command your ligaments, I command everything like Ezekiel 37 to be back. Walk. What do you feel? What do you feel? Look at, come up. Her ligaments for 10 years. She, she falls down by herself do what you couldn't do before do what you couldn't do before look at this look at this her kneecap used to shift her kneecap used to shift you are come, come, come on who are you to her? who are you to her a family friend you are a what family friend you know her you know that this is true sister look at look at the girl crying could she do this before she couldn't do this. Her kneecap will shift and she'll fall. That devil is a liar. Whatever the devil has taken out of its place, we bring it back in the name of Jesus. See, God is working on her. That wicked spirit, out! Come out right now. How dare you come upon the altar of God? Out! Out! Now, this is the, you see that? I told you many things. There are wicked spirits behind the activities of men. Let's hurry up. He died and rose. Jesus died. They what? They initiated him. Into what? They gave him food. Then you'll be seeing spiritual something. You you be seeing spiritual something that you if he tell you you'll be surprised oh they initiated him that devil is a liar bring him up uh -uh, don't 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 please don't cry she's your daughter it's okay see mommy look let me tell you including you God, who set, God is setting her free. You should be happy. Don't cry. This boy will be delivered right now. Boy, how are you? You are good. They initiated you. Yes. Eh? That I carry him go. They say they should carry him. That they will not allow him to go to, to stay for that school. And me, I want him to be there. You look at this. Hallelujah. That this water is blood. If 
if they are playing, you'll be telling them that see this thing, see this thing. You'll be functional and mommy, listen, it's not the fault of the boy. This is this is demonic. Are you getting my point? This is why Jesus brought you here today. In the house, whatever you keep in the house, he will not be there when you kept it. But if he enter, he knows where he sits and he will carry it. No matter where you keep it. Yes. You used to steal. What does he do with it? He, he was even at times the father kept ten thousand. Even I myself, I didn't know that there was money there. He went there, he carried the money with his friend, and they finished the money. How old is he? He's eleven. Eleven years. Eleven. He was eleven in December. Watch your child be delivered upon Mount Zion. Look at this woman. I'll be fasted 21 days. They will tell me that I, even I myself have been seeing a hand holding him. I'll be forcing myself, calling him, he should come back. He will not come back to look at me. Then the man will be holding him going. And one woman said that he cannot come out of this. But I believe that the God has served that he can do for me. So let hope rise. Darkness dwell After me, Jesus. Jesus. I love you. I love you. From today. From today. I set myself free. I set myself. By the power of the blood. By the power of the blood. From any covenant. From any covenant. And any initiation. Any initiation. From today. Yes. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. Satan. Satan. Pack your load. Pack your load. And go. And go. I have no business. I have no business with you. With you. I declare. I declare that I am for Jesus. I am. Satan, you had him. Goodbye. Let him go now. Out. This same thing is happening to some that lady. That's all. It's a family covenant. Are you seeing it now? Are you seeing as I'm praying for him? It's happening to her. It's a covenant. Don't cry, mommy. This is what is happening. How can I be praying for somebody here? The same thing is happening. In the realm of the spirit, there's no distance. They are tied by blood. That's it. As he was making this confession, you can see it affecting her too. These are spiritual laws. He said he will keep this one by saying, because this one was revealed. We don't have all the time. Don't worry, mommy. From today, listen. It's okay. It's okay. Please, please, please. We beg you. Eh? Look at me. I assure you, you will return next week or next miracle service with all these children testifying. Boy, look at me. Can you see those people again? No. Can you see them again? No. You can't see any of them again. You will never see them again. And the same way you have been set free, I set that lady free now. Leave her alone. No, 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 I'm not talking to you people, I'm speaking to the spirit. Go now. How can it know that I'm talking? Am I not talking to everybody here? Madam, it's okay. I need to set you free. Huh? I'm seeing your head tied with a snake. You see snakes now? Even snake, even there will... Hold on. Do you know me, madam? Have I ever seen you? How did I know that snake is tying you? Mm. This is your own because we need to pray for you too. Oh, that girl. What's the problem? Leave her. Ah, uh -uh, is that why you're holding her? Just leave her alone. 
myself. Let's pray, please. We have to hurry up. Goodness. God will heal you right now. Shout, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Are you ready? I hear the chains falling. It's all right mommy you are free you and your family salvation comes to you this night in jesus name she's okay she's free please while this is happening start passing your prayer request inside outside please quickly start passing your prayer request if you've not written it write it when we are prophesying you are free to call your loved ones and let them connect or if you have whatever point of contact no problem it's scriptural Sometimes he will pick a knife that he wants to kill his see another episode here what he will pick a knife that he wants to kill his immediate elder brother he will pick a knife that wants to kill him my brother how are you well done you love jesus you wait now he's not the one look at me look at me we give people here among other things spiritual intelligence you understand no man can just get up please while you're listening be passing your prayer request god answers prayers in miraculous ways here in case you wanted to write something and you've not written it please write it quickly whatever it is so he's you didn't come for yourself just for him my brother how are you what's your name clement clement you love jesus yes you'll be delivered right now all right he carried knife to kill who his elder brother why just like that i was in school they called me they had to lock him they released him yesterday so that they locked him in the police station for three days because he carried knife to kill his brother so they released him yesterday so that he will come for this miracle service the devil is a liar brother look at me you will be set free right now you have taken all the glory you have taken all the praise you have taken all the let him go now. Every foul devil. In the name of Jesus. Go. Every desire to How old is he? Go, go, go. Eh? How old? 
nine years and his SS. And we are going to change genotypes in this place today. Don't ever believe. Hear me. Hear me. Don't you ever let anybody tell you you must remain SS or AS for the rest of your life. I'm not negating medicine, but I'm telling you there is power to change it. If this is the only miracle you have, I know many people who cannot marry today because they said they are SS. We will change it. If God cannot do it, then he is not God. But I think God is able, isn't it? Hallelujah. I change this SS now. The next time it's tested, let it be found AA. Hepatitis, go! In the name of God. As you're gathering the request, just begin to bring it. We have to kill many birds with one stone. Please, hurry up. We really apologize for the time. You can see how much the time is constrained. We can't do much. And help me, please. Some of you can see me, please, Bishop. Let's so that we'll tidy it up. Okay, let's, let's go. Don't worry. Cause hear the rain is falling. I hear the rain, and I'm not ashamed. Not afraid, and I'm not afraid. Out.
submit your prayer request. It will go now. Look at me. Just look at me. Let her go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Just look at me. Jesus, go, 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 say, I believe in miracles, go, go, and the signs and wonders, and the power of the Holy Ghost, yes, I do believe, I believe, don't return to hide, get in the name of Jesus, Set her free now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, your children. Yeah? This girl is your children. What's the problem? No problem. We don't have all. She has an incision. They did an incision for her. Native doctor. And don't worry, please. We don't have all the time for this. Whatever it is, Jesus is Lord. Jesus name. Go! Let her go. Sweet Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. Sweet Jesus. Son of God. Out of him now. Bishop, come. Hallelujah. We are going to pray on this request. Please stand up. Please bear with us. But every part of this meeting is important. Please, please and please. Just two more things and we are out of here. You can see how the time constraint. There is so much we want to do but Hallelujah. Now listen. God answers prayers in dramatic supernatural ways here. Hallelujah. And as we pray I like you to stretch your hands towards the altar hallelujah and just pray in tongues lots of miracles will start happening to people and for your family members after that i'll now speak into your life this is the best part of the meeting stretch your hands please stretch your hands even as we pray thank you jesus
Stand up, everybody, inside and outside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He sent forth his word, and his word healed them and delivered them. The Bible says, Believe the Lord, and you shall be established. He said, Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. As I speak over your life, I want you to believe. Please please believe and return with mighty testimonies we don't have all the time to do the things we want to do but we want to challenge thrones dominions and every name that is named listen and the bible says and whatsoever adam called them that's what they became whatsoever adam called them the Bible says he brought the animals to him to see what he will call them. And he told Job, Has thou commanded thy morning? We are about to speak. Prophecy is very powerful, brothers and sisters. This is the moment where everyone can participate, including your loved ones who are not here. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease in this place. Everything called terminal disease. Everything called terminal disease. In the name that is above all names. I curse you now in the name of Jesus. I curse you now in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That sickness leaves your body now. Leaves your body now. Leaves your body now. Lift your body now. Lift your body now. Every SS and AS genotype right now. The Lord who has done it uncountable times in this place. My God, let SS and AS change to AA now. Change to AA now. Change to AA now. Change to AA now with medical proof. Change to AA now. Every HIV in this place, anyone with any deadly virus, HIV, cancer, diabetes, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now with medical proof be healed now i command your spirit responsible go go in the name of jesus everything that has tied your progress everything that has tied your progress in the name that is above every other name i lose you from it now i lose you from it now i 
I lose you from those chains now. Now. Anyone here trusting God for a job, both for you and your loved ones. Hey, Prateka, ba 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 ba. We release miracle jobs now. We release miracle jobs now. I speak it into your life. I command it into your destiny. I command it into your family. Receive it now. Receive it now. Hallelujah. Every spirit of delay that is working in the life of anyone here things you should have accomplished something has pulled you down there are levels you would have been right now i command right now according to the anointing of the spirit upon my life let there be acceleration now acceleration now acceleration now i challenge the powers that hold you down let them go I challenge the forces. I challenge the altars. I challenge the acts of witchcraft. I release you now. Anyone's marital destiny. Hear me. For you and for your loved ones. Anyone's marital destiny that has been tied down. Whether you are married or not. There are people who are married. It's like they are not married. There are others that should marry. And there are powers that have said you will not get married. This night, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I open up marital doors. I open up marital doors. God protected me. I open up marital doors. I open up marital doors. I pray everything responsible for inexplainable academic failure you are doing your best you write exams the result comes out and you know it's not your own I prophesy right now upon your life whatever is not your own I take it out of your life whatever result that is not your own I take it out in the name of Jesus I command corrections I command adjustments in the name of Jesus for those who have been victimized by any lecturer you are supposed to get A they gave you E I command let there be a restoration that restoration must happen. Hallelujah. Anyone barren here? Low spam count, fibroid, whatever it is, I don't care what it's called. Right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, return with your miracle children. Return with your miracle children. Every barren womb be open now. Hallelujah. All the ladies here that are going to every devil called painful menstruation or irregular menstruation, I don't want to know what the name is. I don't care how long it has been. From this night, I challenge the altars responsible. Be free. Be free. Be free. Hallelujah. I pray for your finances in the name that is above all names. 
in 2014 we prophesy let doors beyond your imagination we open them now now financial doors financial opportunity every yoke every curse every spell that brings poverty that's why you're giving i cross it now hallelujah i pray every dead spiritual life in this place there are some of you you came here as a matter of life and death i command every dead spiritual life let an unction come upon you right now as i speak i fire it back in the name of jesus prayer life come alive now come alive now come alive now what life come alive now let the spirit of revelation come upon you now come upon you now that anointing of favor that can come upon a man's life many of you don't understand i want to activate something in your life i pray that anointing of favor that can separate a man for no reason i pray as surely as the lord god of israel lives, may that man to hit you now may it come upon your life i pray for your family members whatever the devil said they will not get this year whatever project building project house project whatever has tied your family i prophesy lord god of heaven let there be a rain of testimony rain of testimony whatever you have lost and whatever your family members have lost some of you have lost relationships some of you opportunities let there be a restoration now a restoration now hallelujah and i pray that that presence of god that goes with a man i pray for every ministry represented here every ministry that is represented here i command begin to move in strange levels of unction strange levels of wisdom strange levels of revelation I release angelic encounters. I release prophetic encounters. In the name of Jesus. Now lift your hands. I want to activate the gift of the spirit. We have a few minutes. Very, very few. But lift your hands. Hallelujah. I'm just going to prophesy. Many people will receive impartations of different kinds of gifts. There are some of you that need activation right now in the name of Jesus. Rakatatata. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it. 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 Gift of prophecy. Take it. Gift of healing. Take it. Inside and outside. Receive it. Healing anointing. Miracle working anointing, prophetic anointing, apostolic anointing, entrepreneurial anointing. Take it, take it, leadership mantle, take it, prophetic revelation, take it, take it. I command your eyes to be open. May you see what others don't see. Anyone marked for death in this place, anyone marked in the spirit realm for death, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I cast that spirit now. Now, 
Now! 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 Spirit of death, go! 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 next week with dramatic testimonies whatever you wrote here as your prayer request I prophesy according to the anointing in the name of Jesus may your hand receive it may you walk in it hallelujah listen to me keep standing I'm going to make an altar call right now inside and outside there are many people that need the Lord Jesus Christ you have seen the works of the kingdom right now I want to give you an opportunity there may be a number of you who have never made a decision for Jesus especially many of you outside some of you were invited for the first time there are some of you who have given your heart to the Lord but for some reason you found yourself derailing now is the time to call you back home. No one condemns you. But we are giving you an opportunity. I'm going to count one to five. No matter how far you are. Please don't let anybody stop you. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. One. Start running now. Please leave your seat and come out. Two. Outside. Don't let anybody stop you. Find your way to the front. No matter how far. Quickly, quickly, quickly. God bless you, they are coming. God bless you, they are coming. God bless you, they are coming. Koinonia, appreciate them, they are coming. Don't let the devil stop you. Don't let your friends stop you. This is the beginning of a great journey. Young and old, everyone, you are invited. You are most welcome. God bless you. Hallelujah look at me thank you very much for this bold decision god bless you as you come keep coming hallelujah even if you are still outside as god is speaking to you come don't let anybody um stop you from receiving this great blessing hallelujah thank you so much it's my pleasure to lead you to the lord jesus christ this is an experience that you will never recover from hallelujah the lord desires to use you he desires to make a mighty tool out of you and that you spend eternity with him i'd like you to lift your right hand and say this from the depths of your heart you're not reciting a poem this is a real experience you are talking to a real person say after me lord jesus i love you with all my heart i confess that i cannot help myself tonight i make jesus lord of my life I repent of my sins I receive remission right now I invite Jesus to come into my heart be the Lord of my life save me cleanse me wash me Holy Spirit come and live in me do wonders through my life from today I make progress never to return to my past i'm free of every guilt i'm free of every condemnation in the name of the lord jesus christ now let me pray for you father thank you for these ones every wicked spirit that keeps them in sin i curse it now i declare that this decision they have made will be authentic make mighty men and women out of them i curse every spirit every foul devil that is responsible for keeping you in any state of life you do not want in the name of jesus i set you free and i declare that from today you are making spiritual progress in jesus name god bless you congratulations welcome to the biggest family please i'd like you to follow the ushers the gentlemen waving their hands to you they'll welcome you and they'll give you some instructions god bless you in the name of jesus
believe you have been blessed by this message. For additional information, Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.